Show starts in five minutes. shopping. Cost of living got you down. Money used to burn a hole in my pocket. Now it isn't even there long enough to get warm. <laughs> There's one bargain left in town. Campbell Soups. Try chicken with rice. Best parts of the chicken, fluffy rice, and two chicken stocks for extra flavor. About six cents a seven-ounce serving. Sit right down and get your Campbell's worth. Show starts in four minutes. This drive-in theater is radioactive. Now you can hear tonight's show on your AM car radio. Turn your ignition key to the accessory position. This will not drain your car battery. Now turn on your radio and zero in on the following AM station. Best popcorn in town is Manley's High Pop. In regular or jumbo cartons, here's why. Take the tastiest, tenderest, scientifically grown popcorn, add pure, delicious seasoning and specially prepared salt. Then let the famous Manly machine work its magic on Manly popcorn, America's favorite popcorn. Crisp, savory, wonderful. Visit our concession stand now for Manly's High Pop. Show starts in three minutes. Okay. Okay. Gotta be careful not to fall off here. Whoa! It seems we've been teleported to another location. Oh, no shit, dude! Take oh, no. Am I gonna die? Oh, I got a, I got a ring. I got a ring. Dude, he's juggling me. What the fuck? <laughs> Bullshit, dude. Literally unavoidable. Man, the jumping mechanics are so weird. Uh, that's. What? 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Sick grind, Sonic. There's no doubt in my mind. Why can't I see Shadow's reflection in Rouge's boots? Find. Show starts in two minutes. We're happy to announce that we've installed Burnsomatic in-car heaters for your comfort and pleasure. When you receive your heater, you'll find it very easy to place in your car. Just roll down your front window and rest the heater's bracket on the window with the cylinder on the outside of the car. Roll up your window securely as far as it will go to hold the heater firmly in position. For maximum results, Tilt the face of the heater towards the windshield and sit back and enjoy the show in healthful comfort. With these modern, safe, efficient in-car heaters, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round. If you have any further questions about your burns matic in-car heater, please contact one of our theater attendants. And remember, this drive-in theater will now remain open all year round. Regardless of the weather. Show starts in one what minute. A hamburger. Yes, toddy, the chocolate malt in a can. It's so good hot. It's so good cold. It hits the spot with young and old. Yes, toddy pleases everybody. Delicious chocolate malted toddy made with rich, real milk, not powdered milk. So come and get it, everybody. It's time to drink your chocolate toddy. They're at the movies. It's a big date. They love their popcorn, look what they ate. This kind of action is the main attraction. Oh boy, ain't love grand. And 
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat. Hello? Hello? Hey, everybody. I'm standing today. Look at me stand. My legs, they work. Did you know? Did you know? My G Fuel in a glass cup. Cause everything's crazy today. You can't see my legs? Look at me go! Are those jeans? Yes, they are jeans. Look, don't I look presentable? Somebody went to the post office today. Somebody had to go outside today. My, my G Fuel's in a glass cup because I drink too much G Fuel and all the, all the cups are dirty. Dude, okay. So I went to Ace, right? I went to Ace to get some moss out. And I was wearing my new Domino's jacket. And the guy that rings me up is like, let me guess, you work at Domino's? <laughs> I said, uh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just a big fan. I'm just a big fan. And he didn't believe me. He goes, well, so then how did you get the jacket? <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm such a big fan that uh, my friend knew that I really liked Domino's and, and they gave me one. And he was kind of like, uh-huh. I think, he th I think he thought I was lying about not delivering for Domino's. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. It was very strange, though. Someone in chat was just upgraded to friend. It's true. It's true. Well, what am I going to say? Well, one of my adoring fans mailed me a, uh, a German Domino's jacket. You wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I actually have a lot of shit to do today. Yesterday, after work, I was like, I'm gonna get bing, I'm gonna get bingo, bing going. I'm so excited to get bingo, bing going. I, sp I spent the time cataloging all the games that, that were sent to me last, <laughs> last fan mail. So I got no bingo progress. <laughs> I was just cataloging and I said, fuck it. Today I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put shit on my shelf, I'm gonna clean up my office. I have a list of stuff I have to do for bingo, so I'm gonna start shipping away at that. And I'm just gonna be hanging out, cleaning, listening to some smooth jazz. Can you hear my smooth jazz, by the way? Yeah, I'm doing more fan mail. Mo told me to go, he very suspiciously says he's bought me something expensive. Okay, you can hear? Okay, good. I'm gonna turn mine up just a little bit. I can turn it up if it's if it's not loud enough. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a car. I don't think it's a car. Let me move this shit. This one's this one's Mo. It's like a it's like a book or or possibly a game of sorts. Um, but I, I want to know what it is. Very mysterious to, <laughs> it could be a car. It could be a car. A model car. Yeah, possibly. Well, I, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm excited for this little, uh, well, I'm, I'm basically getting to do double work. I'm getting to stream, I'm getting to fulfill my streaming obligation, but I'm also getting to clean and prep for bingo, which I needed to do anyway. So it's a double work day for me, which is why I'm, I mean, I'm in a great mood. I'm gonna, I get to work twice? Fuck yes. 
Where is Mo? I can wait until Mo is here if he shows up to open it. He did. I asked him if he wanted me to open it today, and he told me to open it. So, uh, we'll see. Can I cook as well? I just ate. I just ate. I had a, uh, I had a pupusa from Costco. I had a Costco frozen pupusa. Dude, such a good lunch. Such a tasty lunch. You got to get those frozen pupusas. Dumas, Dumas, Dumas. Thank you for the four months. I think this is how you send a sub message. So if it's not, oops, long time viewer. First video was Restaurant Empire. Thank you for keeping me sane through all of these years. Thank you so much, Dumas, Dumas, Dumas. Let me know at any point if my audio is not good, by the way. I'm using a lav mic, so I'm gonna sound a little bit different than normal, but I can move, I can move like this. Papooses are so good. Tasty. Mmm. I'm G fueling, I'm P fueling. I'm not really looking forward to reorganizing this shelf over here, but it should be fine. The camera jiggles. Yeah, so. The camera does jiggle. This camera used to be a, uh, a GoPro and it had, um, it has image stabilization, but I swapped it out for a regular webcam and now it jiggles when I get excited. Indexing is going well, Chaka. I have logged all of the fan mail I got last time has been logged except for the cookbook, I suppose. It's immersion. <laughs> I've also got, for when I do get over to the shelf, I've got uh, this one. Got an alt cam over here. Okay, first things first is I gotta, I gotta throw all this shit away. I got so much trash. I gotta throw my shit away, open the fan mail, so I know I might have to catalog more before I do anything else. Seeing me, sh odd seeing me sharply focused on, on this other cam back here. I, I'm more blurry over here than I want to be. I think webcams are designed like their focus high is around here. So, what can you do? Hugging everything sounds autistic. Well, uh, it's, it's more so I don't get uh, duplicates of, <laughs> of fan mail. Also, so when I go thrifting, I can look up what I've got, but I mean, you can call it whatever you want. My hair's so long. I need to, I need to yeah, cut it. A hamburger. I'm getting, uh, like when your hair pulls on your scalp a lot. I'm getting like scalp, long hair headaches. I agree, nice and orderly. Nice to be orderly. Yeah, you get hair headaches. People with long hair know. Get a bob? No. <laughs> yeah, hair aches. It's like my scalp. Sometimes I don't know what it is right away. I think it's like my face hurts, but it's my hair. It's my hair pulling my entire face back. What do you guys think about this? I got this popcorn bucket for doing a, a Mystery Science Theater Kickstarter. I use it as a trash can now because I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was so ugly. <laughs> why are there, why are they in these space suits? You can't see it, but everybody has like fake masking tape, like they're fakely taped onto the thing. I think it's supposed to be like intentionally cheap looking, but it's my office trash can now. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Thank you for the bits, Garglev. Edel W, thank you for the 20 months. 
Opossum Plays, thank you for the 34 months. Gotta be careful not to fall off here. What? Chaka, thank you for the 97 months. I just dropped my favorite measuring cup and it shattered. Today was also the day I just realized I don't have a dustpan. Can't wait to watch someone else clean as well now. You just get in there with your hands. You just grab that glass. You just grab that glass. Don't let, don't let shards of glass on the floor push you around. You grab and squeeze. with your lips just lick it lick all those glass shards up from the floor come on don't be a slacker oh is mo here hi mo i told everybody about the mysterious expensive thing that you bought me the knife in raw danger someone left a comment on my raw danger vod today that was like is this game on pc Please give me a link where to get the game on PC. Thanks. Maybe it's on vim.net. All right. Mo has us all on edge with what's in the box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it out. I'm gonna draw it. I'm gonna open that one last. I've got a bigger one from Cat, and another uh, package from Germany today. I sure hope it's not Gwyneth Pal Paltrow's severed head. I would say that would be on the bottom of what I would want to be in any one of these boxes. Oh, you're liking Disaster Report? I'm excited to check that one out. Soda K Jack, thank you for the three months. Have I ever received something illegal? I don't think so. I mean, I've received some like bootleg VHS tapes, which are uh, illegal, I suppose. I mean, they are, but it doesn't really, it's not really what you think of when you think it's just something illegal. Oh, I got a, I got a copy of The Wizard of Oz on, recorded on a VHS tape. Don't tell the feds. <laughs> Reported. They captured the FBI warning and everything. <laughs> that stream right there. <laughs> Well, what are you guys doing today? I'm assuming some other people are cleaning. Everybody that's used to just sitting and watching is gonna feel like they gotta get up and do something. Right? Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe having, watching someone do something on their TV is, is more than enough. Nope, <laughs> no. <laughs> Laying in bed, dude, that sounds nice. I like laying in bed, not in the morning though, not during the day. I like, I like to go to bed a little early and lay, uh, lay in bed a bit before I sleep. It's your entertainment for the day. About to go home from the office to watch this. Well, don't worry, Mo, I won't open the, I won't open the box unless you're here. So if you gotta, if you gotta go somewhere, go ahead. Not a problem. Cleaned your filthy office. I'm excited to actually, my office is gonna be so nice and clean after today. Should I look at this camera sometimes? I can't read the chat when I'm looking up here, but it feels weird when I look at this one. Make noise when you get back, all right. Yeah, no rush, no rush. I probably won't even be opening mail in five minutes, so. And the, the one of these boxes is huge. Who knows how long it's gonna take me to get through this shit. This lovely shit that I love to receive in the mail, is what I meant to say. 
Big camera's kind of lurky. Yeah, does it feel like you're spying on me over here? Does it feel like you shouldn't be seeing? Swap camera so straight on is larger. I don't want to do that, actually. I intentionally did that so you could see me over here, uh, but I'm still nice and tiny. I'd be too big over there. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be bigger than this <laughs> over here in the corner. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I want you to be able to see, like, the idea of me. You don't, you don't want to see too, like, in focus. I don't, I don't need to, you to see the details. Trash Boat in G, thank you for the 13 months. It's me, Lindsay. Thank you for the six months. I'm back. What's up, Lindsay? <laughs> Ian, a YouTuber and Twitch streamer, please don't look at me. It's so true. It's so true. How's the weather there? It's okay. It's a little cold. Oh my God, a gang. Um, so I tell you about these these neighborhood cats that are, are roaming around my neighborhood, right? I, I'm doing my morning routine with MJ. We go stare out the window this morning. As we do, we like to get the sights before it's meal time. Orange cat right in front, like on the roof, right in front of us. MJ's freaking out. Freaking out. Orange cat goes to hang out on the fence. Black Black cat down on the backyard goes the same way mj's freaking out goes to hang out on the, the the fence we're watching the two cats other black cat shows up right across it's like this family they're walking on the fence together they're going around it's the same three cats we saw sitting in a circle having like a meeting once they were all <laughs> sitting just facing each other uh there's like a little cat gang in my neighborhood Better watch out. The cat council. Yeah, they're making making decisions for my neighborhood. Who are we gonna leave the what what yard gets the dead rat this week? MJ does not want to join the gang. MJ uh hisses and anytime there's a cat out there, she freaks out. Oh no, can you hear me gulp? Do I need to mute my mic when I gulp? Or do I need to gulp exaggeratingly? <laughs> Call me Sweet Pea. Thank you for the 12 months. One year, time flies. Were you able to find a spot for that framed life is like a garlic cross stitch my wife made for you? We understand if you haven't had the time or found a good spot yet, here's to another. I did. I did. Here is... I'm gonna have to... I, I ruined it a little bit. Not... I didn't ruin it. So, I put it up here, right? It's gonna go right here. I have a spot for it. But the command strip popped off the wall. And it, it made the... Uh, made it off-center. So I gotta open it and center the stitch again. But, it has a spot. Maybe I'll do that today. It's got a spot right here. Uh, I just had a little bit of an oops with it. I didn't, I mean, you can't break. I don't think you can break a cross stitch. You could cut a cross stitch. Yeah, oops fell down. <laughs> yeah, oops fall down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Rojo 7,000, 777. Thank you for the 25 months. Happy two years. Had Simtown pop up in my recommended yesterday and was shocked, totally forgot about short hair Ian. Would you ever go back to the short hair? No, I don't think so, no. No, I think even, uh, even if I go bald on top, I'll probably keep the ring nice and long and just wear it. Hats or like a, a piece on top. I've had the uh, I've had the short hair. I've had the short hair. I don't I don't uh, I don't connect with the short hair look anymore. 
I want to look kind of like a mess, you know? <laughs> like, if I had, when I had short hair, I looked way too put together. I was, I had short hair. It had like a haircut to it. I was wearing argyle. Uh, now I kind of want to lurk in my make cave. All the money now. Make all the money now. And I also want to look like I'm lurking in my cave. Ethereal Dova. Thank you so much for the $50. I don't deserve that. I'm just cleaning my room, dude. Hey, Ian. I wasn't able to catch the stream last Friday because I was on a much needed casino date with the BF. That sounds awesome. I just wanted to share some of the spoils with you. Dude, how much did you win? Congratulations. Thank you so much for, for sharing in your gamble wins, it feels like I went and just hit uh, a, a jackpot of, of sorts. How much you win? Where, where were the spoils? Uh, Morbid Panda 25, thank you for the three months. Happy three months to me. And Stereo Crab, thank you for the two months. Why am I standing? Well, I am cleaning. I'm organizing and I will soon be, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but I will soon be crawling around on the ground um, for everyone's viewing pleasure. I'm sure we can all look forward to that. Didn't win much, but it was something. Congratulations anyway. Hope you didn't give me too much of those spoils. You gotta keep some of the spoils yourself. I'm a streamer, here's where to donate money. Don't donate money to me. Here, you can subscribe here. Don't subscribe to me. <laughs> okay, I think this is all trash. I hope it's all trash. Uh, Capital One. Capital One is trash. Please, I have a streamer to support. Yeah, go, go get those, go get those pay raises so I can have more money. Send me your money. I need more money. Guys, I'm so excited for bingo. I will be able to detail some ideas uh, and get some feedback on what I'm planning because the bingo format will be updated slightly. Slightly, no, no huge changes, but some changes. You know, life is like a garlic. Wise, wise person. Have I shown this off yet? It's Tobias, can't you tell uh, how youthful? Uh, <laughs> he doesn't look like a, like a 30, 40 year old guy. He looks just as you would imagine. And he can transform if you fold him up. <laughs> That's kind of cool, right? This was one of my Christmas gifts. He's less buff, buff than you thought he would be. Yeah, I always imagined uh, Tobias is really jacked. <laughs> As all birds are, yeah. I mean, a lot of flapping. I just gotta give you some bird abs, right? There is an angle on my wall. Or my ceiling. I wanna get more posters. I want posters to go all the way down. 
I've just got a dot hack sign one up currently, but I think it's cool that there's that slight slope on the ceiling, a slight ceiling slope. Uh, Tobias flaps plenty because he's bitching about he doesn't have thermals and he's got a flap. So I know that he, he rides thermals, but he often has to really work at it because there's no thermals. Yeah, like, a, well, I don't, I don't like to think of it like a teenager's room. I didn't have posters on the ceiling as a teenager. But sure, like a teenager's room. <laughs> sure. Is it a crime to be surrounded by cool shit that you like? Is that a crime? I'm working on my tomb here. I want to be entombed in my pyramid of shit for when I die. And then we can just fill the house up with cement. And it can be my resting place. Mm -hmm. See, Harold likes that. Harold thinks that's a good idea. TM Kaz, thank you for the 15 months. 15 months, whoop. Really a lot longer, but still. Excited for Bingo XP. Have my own XP machine set up. That's exciting, TM Kaz. I've been enjoying the XP machine a lot. A lot, a lot. What kind of curse does my tomb come with? That's a good question. Hmm. Is each Animorph book its own story? Not kind of, not really. There's an overarching story. Some of them have more to do with the main story than others. Curse of Balting. <laughs> a lot of people are already born with that curse. I don't need a, I, we don't, I don't need to be giving people the curse of balding. It's there's a percentage likelihood that they already have it. <laughs> How about you enter my tomb and you get like COVID mouth where everything you don't like the taste of anything except Domino's pizza. Specifically, my Domino's Pizza order. You'll be cursed to order my Domino's Pizza order for every single meal. Oh, that's like the Invader Zim, where they just want to eat hot dogs, where they become, don't they become sausages? And they, <laughs> Dib wants to eat hot dogs. I just, I thought of a, yeah, my bit was, it had already been done. Bologna, that's what it was. That's what it was. I'm reading the Invader Zim comics, they're pretty okay. I've read a little bit of them. I'd rather, I'd rather catch up on the Sonic comics. Okay. Ooh, I had two piles of envelopes in the, on the floor. One was definitely trash. And one was important tax documents. Hmm. <laughs> one of those piles went into the trash. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I had this, the important pile of letters was closer to my computer. That's how I knew they were more important. The closer to the computer, uh, the more importance. <laughs> the doppel stream. Thank you for the 34 months. Maybe take the important pile off of the floor. There's the thing is, I don't have anywhere for shit to go. Like, I don't have a lot of surfaces to place things. I'm very limited in the usable space department and I keep getting more and more shit. <laughs> Ooh, place it on my ceiling. That's a good idea. Hang them up like posters. And then I could fill, I could fill the rest of my wall space with my important tax documents. It's a good idea. Okay, I actually think I should open these boxes because I need to know what's in here before I do anything else. Because this is large. Is Mo here? Did Mo get back from uh, from his work? 
Oh, there he is. I see him. Okay. This is from Cat in Vegas. Is Cat here? It says top. Hmm. Oh, it's Killer Cat. Okay, which side am I opening? It says it says that this is the top, but there's no open side. Should I open here? Or should I open here? Where I normally would? All right, I can do that. Let me move some shit. I just wanna make sure it, I, I do it right. I opened, I opened a couple upside down last time, I think. Camera fix. Oh, do you want me to move this camera so you can see? Here, it's a good idea. Don't look at me. How's that? Better? Man, when I, I feel so powerful when I'm standing and streaming. I know I have just as much power as I normally do, which is zero, but for some reason I feel like I I can like command people. Maybe it's the knife, actually. Oh, behave in chat! No spoilers! <laughs> Makes you feel short. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. All right, note one. Note one. Sorry for all the reading out loud. It's fine, I'm a pro now. Greetings from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'll go here one of these days. I'm not eager to travel many places, but I'll go to Vegas and I'll lose it all. Note number one of three. Hi, Ian. I've sent you this box o stuff to say thanks for the many years of entertainment you've provided. I've been watching uh, on YouTube since the beginning of Brutal Foods, and your VODs brought me a lot of comfort last year after bad breakup. Now I'm catching the streams and chatting to the other good folks on the Discord. It's been a fun time. I picked up some PS2 games to add to your collection for ping Pingo. I, that is not how it was written. Bingo PS2 someday. The vintage postcards are just something I thought were neat and on theme. Lastly, the board game is a weird one, but when I saw something that combined football and gambling, I thought of you. You know, Pingo might, Pingo S2, I've been thinking, how do we do bing, Bingo PS2? Bingo S2? Pingo S2 would end up being, you have PS2 and, and Bingo. I hope you can get some good use out of these things. Cheers, Cat, AKA Killer Cat on Twitch. P.S. The other two notes should be on and inside the board game box. No, Pinko, Pingo S2. <laughs> the P and XPS stands for Pingo. It's Bingo X, Bingo X Pingo, actually. Wouldn't it be great though, just to, if the PS2 one just had, instead of Bingo, it was, it was Pingo, and then anyone who, who came in was like, why the, why the fuck is it Pingo? Oh, I have a trash bag right here. Although this is nice. People don't usually, what is this? It feels like party streamer. It's very soft. <laughs> You've never heard of Pingo before. Okay, we've got Trigger Man. Any uh, any opinions? It might be easier to do this actually. No lights back there to reflect. Rated T for violence. 
Nobody threatens our family. Nobody. Seems cool. What is this unboxing baby bullshit music that's playing right now? Hi, welcome to my fan mail unboxing. Oh shit! PS2 Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue. I mean, we could do uh, we could do a Barbie bingo. Honestly, I mean, I, we probably won't because I want to include Barbie games in the bingo. Pirates: Legend of the Black Buccaneer. Is that an original story? I don't, I don't remember that as a movie title. Arg. Alias. Alias. I don't know much about Alias, except I'm assuming that she probably uses an alias of some sort. Mojo. Mojo looks like a puzzle marble game. God, you really, the reflection is just killer. Mojo was based off the show? Oh, no, Alias. I was like, Mojo the show? Oh, dude, Thrillville! I think, this is great, because I think I have this logged as something that I own, but I think my copy is, I feel like I remember trying to stream it and it didn't work. Sick. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Cat, you remembered. For all, for all the times I said I really needed space chimps on PS2, I can't believe you, find, you came through for me. I've been begging for space chimps on PS2, and nobody would send it in. This, this isn't Bingo S2. This is full playthrough. Uh, material here. Blowout. Uh, let's see here. As transfed Marshal John Dutch Kane, you've been assigned to suppress a clone uprising on the battle platform Honor Guard. Little do you know, the clones have mutated into aggressive, grotesque aliens. Your order. Are to, your orders are to take down the uprising at all costs, even if it means destroying the honor guard. Yeah, yeah, transfed. One word. The fed is is cap. It's transfed. M must be their company, their operation. I have no idea. Mad in two thousand three. Mad in two thousand two. Mad in two thousand one. The trilogy. We should just stop. We should just play these all day. I'll just stop unbo unboxing now. I really want, I've gotten all these cool old copies of Madden and I do really want to play. <laughs> I don't know how much I'll play on stream, but I'm going to play at least privately. Dark Summit. I feel like I remember Dark Summit. Snowboarding game, THQ. Ooh, Monday Night Madden. <laughs> People would love that. Listen. Listen, do you want to grow your stream? Are you tired of lackluster viewership numbers? You got to implement Madden Monday. The gamers want Madden Monday. Coco Co Fishing Master? What is, what? <laughs> look at the, he looks like the, the baby from that dinosaurs TV show. But he likes to fish. Welcome to Kokoto's New Adventures. With Fishing Master, fishing has never been this much fun. Climb into your boat, grab your fishing rod, choose your bait, and then go fishing on five wonderful lakes containing tons of surprises. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. Uh, well, I love all of these. Thank you, Cat. I am... I can't lie, I think I'm most excited for Space Chimps. Space Chimps and then Barbie. 
But I think Space Chimps, Space Chimps Barbie Thrillville, I think would be my top three. Let's see here. Oh shit! Look at my, uh, look at, look at me. That was me for that, that one year I was living down in Texas. Well, I guess I, I've lived there for more than that, but I like that. Note two. Ooh, a nice, it looks like a Casino Empire. Las Vegas. Note two of three. Oh, let me show. Let me show you the box before I because this is commentary on this box here. Oh, it's like a Vegas style board game. Oh, it's heavy. It's got little Caesars on it. We were just talking about little Caesars. So it's like a Vegas, some type of property uh, type game. Yeah, it's very shiny. Ooh, the back is a kind of like a roulette table, almost. Okay, I think that's all. I think the other note is in the box. So I can move this for now. Yeah, this seems cool. Oh, hold on, there's a little bit of tape on here. There we go. Okay, let's find out what Cat has to say. You may be asking, who the hell is Stupak? Uh, because I certainly did, but after some light research, I can give you a little context. Bob Stupak was a millionaire in the 80s. He was a poker player turned businessman who is most known for owning the space-themed hotel and casino Vegas World and then tearing that shit down to build the stratosphere. He made many questionable life choices, include being a big bet gambler, and he notoriously won a $1 million bet against the 49ers in the 1989 Super Bowl. This board game came about in response to a bet he tried to make with Donald Trump, who at the time had just released his own board game. It's interesting that you say that. I thought this was gonna be a Trump game. I saw the big bold TU and even kind of just like first glance, just this, I thought it was gonna be Trump the board game. Yeah, the font, it's very Trumpy. Luckily, even though the box was opened, None of the game pieces have been used, and you'll be the first person to fully play this 35-year-old game. It only needs two players, so if you don't use it for work, it could possibly be something fun to try with Brutal BF. He would love that, actually. And if the game sucks, you might be able to repurpose some of its pieces. P.S. Last note inside the box, a challenge awaits. Oh, good. I love a good challenge. How come my mail doesn't come with more challenges? All these, all these easy mails. Okay. Oh my God, this is cool. It's, it's uh, formatted like a newspaper. The style on this. Oh, is it a newspaper? Is it a fake? Is this just how they, wait, hold on. Is this how they do the rules? Are you supposed to read this for the rules? Some of this is just info about the guy. I think it's just info about the guy. That's so fucking cool. It's fake, but they look like an, they took an image from a real newspaper. Oh my God, this stuff is pristine. 
Oh, sorry, did you guys hear a sound effect? That was unintentional. What sound effect is it? I can't hear it. Oh, fart? Okay. It wasn't me farting. I promise it was just a sound effect. See, I, I can prove it. Very quiet fart. <laughs> I can turn it up. Okay. Note three. We've got uh, Luigi grabbing some coins. Uh, I lost my ass in Las Vegas. Oh, shit, this is a... This is a used... This is a used... Uh, note. Dear Joy, this was addressed on May... 27th, 82, 1982. Dear Joy, hi stranger. We are at Vegas having a good time. Hope you're not working too hard back there. So far, we have been to Arizona and Mexico, California. When we have when we leave here, we will go to Grand Canyon, then Colorado and Missouri, and home. Hope you are fine. Love, Joy, and Wilbert. Parentheses, three weeks. That's kind of fun. And then we got Golden Gate Hotel Casino. It looks like maybe someone crying because they just lost it all. Or <laughs> some type of <laughs> nice postcard. <laughs> Dear Joy, just writing again to let you know that we lost it all. We can't afford to go to the Grand Canyon anymore. Because Wilbert bet it all. Note number three of three. There's a, wait, there's a poem on the back of the sad one? Oh yeah, there is. Uh, at, at Systems Math, computers, all I've been considered apt. But then I laid my money down, and what do you know? I crapped. So you don't even have to write, you don't even have to write a note. It comes with a note baked right in. I shit myself at the Texas Hold'em table. <laughs> uh, note three of three, if you haven't noticed by now, this package is fairly Vegas themed and all of the envelope art is based on defunct hotel signs. That's exciting. Oh yeah, I can see that. No one definitely feel has that hotel vibe. Okay, one is Stardust. Two is Pioneer Club. I think this one's my favorite. And three is Sam's. Vegas has a fascinating history, and I'd highly recommend you check out the Neon Museum if you ever visit. Many of the old signs now live there in varying degrees of disrepair, but they're still beautiful, all lit up. I think you and your audience also hold admiration for the charm of ages past, be it game-related or not. On to the board game. I just had to test the slot machine dice to see if I could roll a jackpot. I bet that I could do it in five rolls or fewer, and I rolled triple cherries in two. So Ian, if you're willing and assuming this isn't breaking the rules, I have a wager for you. In five rolls or fewer, if you can roll triple cherries or sevens, I will donate 10 gift subs. If you roll more, the more rare triple bar or bells, I'll donate 20 gift subs. If you donate, if you roll nothing, you have to give five subs. All right, all right. I'll accept those odds. Hold on, let me get, uh... Oh, here, I can just roll it in the box here, huh? Oh, wait, no, I want it, I want it to, I don't want any, anybody calling shenanigans here. No interference, okay. So to recap, I need to roll triple cherries, triple sevens, or triple bar, or I need triples. Triples is best. Triples makes it safe. 
in five rolls. Okay, I did not win, but this will give me, now, how am I gonna? Okay, so you can see here that I did not win. I got Bell Bar Cherry. You can't see shit? Well, then I will, I will carefully pick the dice up and show it to you, and you can see that I won't. There's really not much I can do here. I'm doing my best. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Oh, so close. Seven, seven bar. Uh, see, how am I gonna do this? They all slide down. Oops, slide down. Seven, seven bar, can you see that? You guys know I love a fair gamble. No? Okay. Uh, I mean, there's no... I'm just gonna have to, I'll pick up the fucking camera. I'll pick up the fucking camera. Untrustworthy. When have I ever lied to you guys? Oh, 7-7 seven, seven bell. See, this doesn't work either because the camera isn't. Bell, seven. Seven. Okay, is that better? Okay, so two more rolls. Fuck. Uh, Cherry Bell Bar. Do I really have to show you if I got it wrong? I mean. Okay, last one. Last one. If I roll a triple, it means I'm lucky and I'm gonna go to Vegas and I'm gonna bet it all. And... Uh, uh, bah. Oh, yes! Triple cherry, baby! Triple cherry, baby! Cherry, cherry, cherry. Ten gift subs. I believe I'm owed. I'm gonna match that. I'm gonna match that. Thank you so much, Kat. That was a ton of fun. I can't believe I pulled it off. I, I don't know if you guys could see it, but I rolled the two cherries and the third dice was spinning. And I was like, ah. You saw it? Okay, awesome. Hold on, I'm gonna match the 10. I'm gonna match the 10. Thank you so much, Cat. What a fun package. Mm, what a hamburger. Hold on, I'm. Why isn't it letting, why isn't it? Why is it so hard to buy subs on my own channel? Just let me spend money. There we go. Am I paying my own salary? I mean, technically, no. I only get a portion of it back, so not really. But thank you so much, Killer Cat. Uh, I, I am gonna play this board game. I'm gonna play this board game for sure. It looks like a lot of fun. I'll report back once I give it a shot. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta visit Vegas. I, I did say if I won, I was gonna visit Vegas and, and uh, gamble it all. Mm, what a hamburger. Oh yeah, this I can see I can see how it is very it's clearly like a Trump uh, logo parody. Have to let it let us know how it compares to the Trump board game. I'd never played the Trump board game. <laughs> Ian betting his channel at the what Baccarat table. I don't even know how to play. 
This this board game is called Stupac. It's like uh, like Tupac, but like Stu from Rugrats. Stu Stupac. Can I spin the thing in the middle? I don't really want to because the the ball is taped down. It's a very small uh, a very small ball. I would consider using this for possibly some bingo stuff. I'm keeping the letters in here with this, by the way. But believe it or not, because Kat said I could repurpose it, I'm assuming that was a uh, bingo suggestion. I think that's upside down. Believe it or not, one of the things I was gifted for Christmas this year from my boyfriend was a giant roulette wheel and all these like gambling things. It's basically the board game without, there's no like overarching board game, but I have all this stuff to possibly use for further stream stuff. So I will be, I will be keeping the board, your board game you sent intact. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to risk messing up or losing something. Who <laughs> needs Vegas? This will not be used in the current, in the, in the upcoming Bingo season, I don't think. Maybe. Maybe it could make an appearance, but. Oh my god, the pieces just fall everywhere. I need to put all these tiny pieces in a Ziploc or something. Thank you so much, Cat. Dude, it comes with a it comes with a Stupac playing cards. Look. You're telling me you don't want a deck of cards with Stupac on the front? No, no, sorry. I'm sa I said Stupac. Stupac. You misheard. You, I think you, you heard something. It's Stupac I'm talking about. My hero is Stupac. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stupac Shakur. Okay. Well, this... I don't have to catalog this on stream. I could I if I wanted to, but the PS2 games don't go in here, so I don't have to. Thank you, thank you very much. Ooh. I'm excited. I may go get a, a G Fuel to keep my excitement energy up. Side view of the stack? What do you mean? Can we get a side view of the stack as a summary? Of like how many games I got? Or like which games I got? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. You mean like this? Is that kind of legible? It's a little dark in here. Surprise, surprise. Triggerman, Barbie Horse Adventure, Pirates, Alias, Mojo, Thrillville, Space Chimps, Blowout, Madden, 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 uh, Dark Summit, and Costco Fishing Master. No, it's Co Kokoto Fishing Master. <laughs> Kokoto Fishing Master. Mm, what a hamburger. Turn the lights on. Well, there's no, the thing is there's no lights behind that camera. Even if I did turn the lights on, there's nothing back there to light it. It's true, I am already a Costco fishing man, uh, master. Okay, this can, this can return upwards. Don't look at me while I'm adjusting the camera, please. I look spooky. Okay. Don't let me get G Fuel for at least a little bit. <laughs> the neon blue fluid. It's G Fuel. It's hell. It's my healthy G Fuel. Yeah, it does come in powder form. Yeah. Okay. Hair is out of my way. It's getting in my way. 
Let's do package number two. I don't know about you. This is from Thomas in Germany. Thomas in Germany. Are you here? Oh, it's Corn Fed Pig. Corn Fed Pig, are you here? I'm opening it anyway, so. He put a, as if he knew I would be stabbing angrily, he put a penguin here that is holding a sign that says chill out on it. <laughs> so, I guess I'll stop. What's in here? Single game, possibly? <laughs> I have received a copy of the movie Gaslight. <laughs> I wonder why wonder why I would be sent that. Dear EM, many a time I have witnessed you being accused by chat of gaslighting your audience. Needless, needless to say, this is completely untrue and just all in their heads. Regardless, as you may or may not know, the term gaslighting is a reference to the 1944 movie Gaslight. Well, I guess technically it goes back to the original 1938 stage play of the same name, but the American movie adaptation is probably the most widely known version of the story. I actually did not know that. Since I personally have somewhat of a soft spot for classic movies from that era, I thought I'd share this one with you. I've included a DVD copy, hoping that you might also get some enjoyment out of it. Actually, I was thinking that it might even be suitable for a streaming movie night. That being said, I wasn't able to find any conclusive info on whether this one is public domain or not. Either way, I hope you enjoy this classic and get some chuckles out of the old-timey acting. In fact, I can see you very much appreciating the character of Gregory Anton, as he is a total dick. <laughs> Cheers, Tom, aka Corn Fed Pig. P.S. Despite me sending this DVD from Europe, it shouldn't cause you any issues with playback. As far as I can tell, it does not have a region code, and it uses the North American NTSC picture format. So you should be good to go with any U.S. DVD player. P.P.S. I also included an iron-on patch that you might like. It is a Seattle Seahawks retro patch, which I do indeed like. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you, thank you. I have never seen Gaslight. I bet it's good, though. Lights flicker and dim. Footsteps sound from a sealed-off attic. Mysterious events only vulnerable young Paula sees and hears make her fear she's losing her mind. Exactly what treacherous spouse Gregory hopes. Is that the one that I'm supposed to like? The one, is he the one doing the gaslighting? Yeah, Gregory Anton. <laughs> the one. Ian, I think your favorite character is going to be the, the gaslighter. True. Accurate. True. Uh, Gaslight shines a superb exercise in suspense. Ingrid, Ber Ingrid, Ingrid Bergman won her first Academy Award as Paula, doubting her sanity while clinging to it. Fellow Oscar nominee Char Charles Boyer, is that how you say his name? Boyer? Skillfully plays against type as smoothly evil Gregory. J Joseph Cotton, Dame May Witty, and then 18-year-old Angela Lansbury in her movie debut, also capturing an Oscar nomination, help make a vivid Victorian era realized in a production design that earned a Best Interior Decoration Academy Award. It sounds like this was quite a, an awarded movie. Thank you very much, Tom. I bet I will love this. You like the costumes? I like old movies. Thanks, uh, Mystery Science Theater, for making me like old movies. 
Last box for the day is from Mr. Mo Chicken, sending me Mo mail. I'm concerned because it was said that it was expensive, so I'm concerned. It should be noted that you should not be sending me expensive things if you cannot afford to do so. I'm assuming Mo can. Sorry. <laughs> You don't have to apologize. Apologize now, Mo. I'm just saying I'm not asking for expensive stuff. There's no... It is not necessary for anyone watching right now to say, Oh, I'm going to go buy something expensive for Ian. Okay. I have, a, I have a guess. I have a mental guess that I won't say aloud because it, I, I, it shouldn't be what I, what I have a guess it is. Oh my God, it fucking is what I thought. <laughs> uh, it's Dot Hat Quarantine, which is the final chapter of the Dot Hack Saga and easily the most expensive uh, game series that I am currently playing through. Thank you so much, Mo. Open it up. Oh no. Oh shit. What is that? It's got a, it's got a, oh, you can't see that. It's got a, it's a dot hack memory card? I just had a fe- I had- I had a fe- I could hear this part of the case jiggle when I picked up the box and I was like, there's no way it's dot hack. Dude. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to buy game two and three. I guess I don't have a choice but to collect the other ones. I can hear the bad decision making. What's the memory card? Did you say what the what the memory card is? I'm trying to put the memory card back without fucking it up. It says something volume two. It's a cool memory card. I do like it. Okay, there we go. Dude, thank you so much. Oh, it's got the, the t tip of the grunty here. He's saying Mona Me. Got a good deal on it? You better. <laughs> you better. It wasn't $500 good. I also got, this one looks familiar. Were you talking to me about this game? Uh, Metropolis Mania. Metropolis Mania? I recognize the cover. I feel like at some point we had a discussion Something you thought I would like? Someone must have said I would like this before. What is it? Everybody wants to live in the best city in the world. That's why you're a metropolis maker. A well-connected urban planner who creates the most popular places on the planet. Of course, some of your citizens have other ideas. So you have to work extra hard to keep everyone happy. City management sim? It's got cool screenshots. I don't know if you can see the screenshots. Oh shit, I hit a button on my desk. Oh shit, it's moving. Oh shit, it's moving again. Don't go, it, don't go that way. Go. Okay. Okay. Dude, thank you so much, Mo. Oh, there was a card in here, I think. I didn't even, the uh, wrapping got stuck. Oh my god. Uh, this is... Oh shit, come on. It got stuck to the, the packaging of the... of the box. I'm trying to pull it out without ripping it too much. I got it, I got it, I got it. Ooh, I got it. Little rip, not bad. Not bad, little rip. Ian, I'll leave it to you to get the rest of them. Happy, 
hacking, happy dot hacking. And he drew my, uh, he, he, Mo designed me a Wave Master OC. Uh, as you can see, he looks a lot like me, but if I was cool. Thank you so much, Mo. I <laughs> I cannot believe you sent this to me. Would I do a dot hack stream? I almost have to now because I'm playing through the games currently on Steam Deck, and I've got to finish through on Steam Deck because of uh, my save file, right? But. I can't not play them on the original disc at some point now. You know, I can't own them and not play them. This is like pristine too. A hamburger. So I'll probably do it at some point, yeah. It'll it'll take some time because I gotta, you know, I'll once I've once I've beaten it on Steam Deck, I will have played four games of it. So it'll take me a little while to get to, but I mean, especially if I wanna collect the last two in the series. Dude, thank you. He's been playing through the Dot Hack games as well. And he knows I was jealous that he was getting to play on the PS2 copies. Tried it out, seemed to run fine. Oh yeah, I guess I could have looked. Oh, I was gonna check the back of the DVD, but I mean it looks it looks pristine. It's in good condition, right? Yeah, do you want me to check? Oh no, you said you you said you just checked the disc. But now that it's in my head, I'm gonna do it anyway. Didn't try liminality. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that'll run. Needs a little clean, but no scratchies. Try toothpaste. Dude, yeah, I, I have to play him. I have to play him because I keep going on. Yeah, nice, nice. No scratches. I keep going on tangents as I play these games on, on Steam Deck that they're so expensive and I bet a lot of people that collect them don't even play. They just collect to collect. And I've just been saying if I had them, I'm gonna pl I would play them, I would use them. So I actually have to use them to uh, live up to my word. Why are they so expensive? Well, it's, it's four games in a series and they get more rare as they go. They must have just printed less and less copies. I think it was kind of a success at first and then just dropped off so they didn't print as many of them. But I, I want them. Yeah, they've never re-released this uh, series either. Not popular enough. I always like to think that Dot Hack was popular at one point, but I feel like even back when it was airing, I, I knew about it and I talked about it with my cousin, but I don't think anybody else I knew really gave a shit. I mean, it was on Adult Swim. I think people knew about it, but... I'm gonna make all the money Dude, what the fuck now. is happening? I'm gonna make all the money now. You guys are being too nice to me today. I'm just cleaning my office. What is going on? What are all these? Oh, these are the gift subs. Amex Wolf. Thank you for the $100. Poorly timed donation. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Speaking of expensive. What's up, Ian and chat? I, miss, I missed a bunch of Nance and other streams, but I don't mind throwing dim bills at you anytime I do manage to catch you live. Stay fantastic, Mr. Moose. You're still... The best. Thank you so much, Amex. Where you been? What you been up to? Thank you, thank you. Okay. I thought I heard MJ and I wanted to discourage her from trying to come in here. She doesn't need to be in here. Dude. Or not she can help, she can't be in here. Thank you so much, Amex. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kat, thank you, Tom, thank you, Mo. What an unexpected treat today. 
Let her in, let us watch the real star. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Crappy Gamer 646, thank you for the three months. Pookies, thank you for the three months. Gambling is fun. I agree. Yeah, Wednesday for the books. Uh, thank you, Brutal Moose, for gifting those 10 subs. And thank you, Killer Cat, again, for the great, fun game and gamble and being a good sport. Thanks for donating those two or those 10 subs. Hidden Moonlight, thank you for the two months. Wonko Bonko, thank you for subscribing. And Akimbo628, thank you for subscribing. Came here for MJ Guess It's Time to Leave. Yeah, that's fair. Still think Dot Hat Games would be a good stream. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. What up, Sorcerer? Thanks for watching the VODs. Okay, I gotta clean up this paper, which actually, you know what? I thought I was gonna have to do extra work because of the, the packages, but not really. They're all PS2, so they don't have to go in here. So I can catalog them later. My boyfriend keeps going, tell your, tell your chat to stop sending you. What am I supposed to get you? What am I supposed to get you? Tell him to stop sending you cool shit. That's what he's gonna say when he, see, when he sees all this shit I got today. There's no gifts left for me to get. <laughs> Y'all gonna see Kung Fu Panda 4? I didn't see two, two or three. Have I considered getting a haircut? Why, why is everyone asking me to get my haircut today? What's the motive? Where is this coming from? Why don't you get a haircut, man? Why don't you get a haircut? <laughs> uh, no, to answer your question, no, I'm, I'm not gonna get a haircut. I mean, I will cut my hair, but not short. I don't want to like, listen, on top of everything, if you get a haircut, if you get a short haircut, you know what you got to go do like a few weeks later? You got to go get another haircut. I haven't paid for a haircut in however many years. Yeah, it's a scam. Haircuts are a scam. Just let it grow out. What about getting a stripe shaved in the back? Maybe. Maybe. When I get my, uh, when I get my hair transplant, I'll tell them to take it all from the same ring and move it up top so the, the ring ends up shaved permanently. And then I get the hair back on top. Okay. Okay, okay. I guess I should put the games away on the shelf. Should probably be my next... Let me see my list here. A horizontal mullet. I mean to get your hair to grow down to your butt. Mine's not quite in my butt. I, I feel like it gets too long and annoying. I gotta cut it. Why don't I grow out the beard? Uh, boyfriend has a limit. It gets to a point and he's like, shave it. And I say, okay. He was the one that told me to grow my hair out. He was like, grow your hair out. And I was like, okay, well, okay, <laughs> I don't care. Why not? Um. Yes, we opened the car. You missed the car. No, Chaka, when I grow my beard out, 
out. I, I keep the mustache. I don't keep the, I can't have hair in my mouth. I can't have hair coming into my mouth. How's it going, Alyssa? You haven't seen this? You haven't seen my shelf? I have a whole uh, stream where I put it together. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Would it make more sense to do this? Or to just do, maybe I should just do one of these. Because I'm going to be looking at the shelf, and I don't want you just, like, staring at my ass for however long I'm over there. <laughs> so I'm going to do, I'm going to do one of those instead. Go. Okay, it's the jewel cases that are going to be the problem, because... What am I gonna do here? Um, let me go grab, I need to grab a bucket real quick. I'm gonna be gone for like two seconds. I'll be right back. All right, I got the buckets. I got the buckets. Got a hair in my eye. Okay. Shave my eyes. I got it. So the bottom part of the shelf right now is all like mystery tape tapes. And I have so many of these things. I need to find a different place for them. And I need to start. I need to start like actually going through them. My plan was to start streaming them to the Discord as I capture them as kind of like a double duty thing. I just haven't done it yet. Which is, I mean, story of my life. <laughs> I just, just haven't gotten around to it yet. Are you guys making fun of me? I can't see. Oh yeah, I can kind of see. I can see if you're making fun of me. Haven't had a Discord stream in a while. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm about to change some things up in the Discord in preparation for letting uh, Moose2 members and patrons in there. So I've been working on that a little bit. No, I can't. I mean, it's gonna be basically the same. 
Crackle. How active is the Discord? The Discord's, I would say it's fairly active, um, but I do think I'm gonna make it, not that it's, you know, I'm not gonna remove any features or anything, but I do wanna make it a little more uh, me focused. I hate saying it, but uh, I'm gonna put in like a Brutal Moose section where you can subscribe to different alerts. Like you could subscribe to just stream alerts or just video alerts. Uh, stuff like that. I'm gonna make it a little more useful to my purposes. And then just update categories and stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not changing anything drastic. I can only talk about Ian now. Okay. Okay. Oh, this shit's heavy. Okay, this is gonna clear up a lot of space, though. I'm gonna tease Discord streams you'll sub again. Well, don't sub for, don't sub for, <laughs> I wouldn't sub for things that haven't happened. I'll just, you know, we all know me. How long is it gonna take till I get Discord streams? <laughs> I do wanna do it, though. That's, it's on the list. But honestly, part of the reason why I'm cleaning my office and doing this shit here is because I have a lot of things I want to do. And it can be hard to do all that whilst also streaming thrice a week. The fuck is this? Furniture anchors? Oh, okay, furniture anchors, yeah. And this is all blank. CDs, I think, or blank empty cases. Okay. Ooh. Thanks, Alyssa. I, I really enjoyed the consistent stream schedule. It's been it's been good for me, honestly. Even though it can make ah, oh, I don't have enough time for videos. I I think it's good to stay to stay stream regular. Uh, this is not a, this isn't a Bohemian Rhapsody movie poster. This is just a Queen poster. So we got the, the real, the real Freddy back there. I haven't actually seen the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Was that supposed to be good? Didn't he, I think he won, was that Rami? Did he win a, an award for that? It was all right. Hi, Ian, you strange fellow. Hello, Ranye. All I've seen, um, all I've seen is the people comparing the Live Aid performance. A lot of biases from Living Queen members. Interesting. Interesting. I will probably not watch it. I will be honest. Probably won't see that one. I would rather watch, I don't know, like a documentary or something. Okay. Nancy Drew Dossier goes there. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Favorite rockumentary is The Doors. I think my favorite rockumentary is uh, This Is Spinal Tap. It's real gritty and raw, you know? Solid choice. Mockumentary, I don't know, it all happened. It all happened, man. <laughs> I don't know that I've seen a, like a rock, like a real rock documentary. I don't know that I've seen one. 
Okay, the Nancy Drew game I thought we were playing, and I announced to everybody that we were playing, and then it turns out I got the wrong game. That was fun. A good memory for us all. I'm trying to think of the last, what was the last documentary I watched? I went through a, uh, I went through a cult documentary phase. I was, uh, I was watching a lot of cult documentaries. My favorite was uh, Wild Wild Country. I would get, I don't know if that one got a release, a Blu-ray release or something, but I would own that docu-series. That one was awesome. Okay, Danger Deception Island number nine. That's why it explains why the Discord is becoming more EN focused. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm just gonna run it like a cult. I do, Sam. The infamous Nancy Drew case, still here. No, no, I'm not getting rid of that. It's nice and uh, compact. I could, I could see myself someday switching it out for like a square one and keeping them all. But I probably won't because it's already in a nice compact, uh, a nice compact case. Did I catalog this shit? Yes, yes I did. Wait, did I? Hmm, I might have to check if I cataloged a few of these. I'm not sure if I did. Oh. Oh, it's gonna look so nice over here. I'm gonna get all, I'm getting all the shit off the floor. I don't have any strong Bowie opinions. Deep sleep. I wouldn't say I like or dislike Bowie. I have I have no real opinions. Yes, this is the Disney World DVD. I have it set aside for watching at some point. Oh yes! There was mail opening. Did I move it out? Did I move it out? We got the We got the gaslighting movie. It seems really good. <laughs> it seems like it. I, at first I thought it was just for the for the bit, and then I, I was reading the the back of the box. It looks good. Yeah, the original movie, Gaslight. Yeah, that's what Thompson in. Could be a good uh, could be a good Discord stream if I when if when when I start doing those again. Gaslight is a movie from a long time ago that I also received in the mail just today. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I can see the floor. I never, I didn't see everything everywhere all at once. Mystic Danny 12, thank you for the three months. Yay, three months. Also, Ian, have you ever been to a VR chat rave? I have not been to VR chat at all. I have not VR chatted before. I, uh, I have my headset here. It's very easily accessible and I'm, I'm ready to VR chat. Can you VR Second Life? I'd rather VR Second Life. Okay, I need to organize, wow. I need to organize these so I can get them on the shelf. Gotta get them on the shelf. 
Mid medium sized boxes can wait. Ooh, actually, let me make sure I cataloged these first. Oh, wow. Larry Fishburne, thank you for the 10 months. Happy 10 months, are you gonna watch the Oscars this weekend? Yeah, uh, no, kind of. Uh, I'm currently marathoning on cinema oh, with the boyfriend. Wow. I have watched all of on cinema except for the latest season. We're just starting on the previous season, the one that didn't just air. So the plan is to get through, because the Oscars are the 10th, I think. The plan is to get through two seasons and an Oscar special of on cinema. And then I want to watch the Oscar special live uh, this year. So I won't be watching the Oscars, but I, ha I will be more invested in the Oscars than I have in a very long time. I don't, I don't remember the last time I've actually watched the Oscars. Adam Schlong, thank you for the six months. Hello, hi Adam. Mr. Drake73, thank you for the eight months. You have any Brutal Foods reviews coming up? Keep up the good work. Yes, Mr. Drake, for those that don't know, I am working very hard on a high concept Brutal Foods video. Um, it's taken me a while. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, but something good is in the works and I'm gonna get it done ASAP. I actually just bought all my costumes and props yesterday. Well, not all of them, but a large chunk of them. There's one specific prop. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know. I drew it in my storyboards. Uh, I have no idea how the fuck I'm gonna do it, but I gotta, I've gotta figure it out. And Oblivious Ben, thank you very much for the 36 months. Let MJ in. She doesn't want in. I just, I checked earlier. She doesn't want in. She knew you were going to be here and she said no. <laughs> thank you, Ben. What is On Cinema? On Cinema is... It's a, it's a movie review podcast that's like, it's a satirical movie review show. That would be a way to say it. Uh, they, it's centered around movies and the Oscars. They rarely actually talk about movies or the Oscars. It's a Tim Heidecker, uh, production. I must go say hi to Greg Turkington. I love Greg. Hard to describe. It's, it's like it's got its own universe. It started as a it started as a podcast where they were just making fun of movie review podcasts. And it just kept growing. Okay, I need to add Sims to Family Fun Stuff. I don't think that one made the list. Driver parallel lines. Yeah, they're still making on cinema. So they, it was it was an Adult Swim show, and I think Adult Swim stopped doing their online productions or something. But they kept making the show, and they launched their own. He launched his own network called the High Network to produce it. So you have to pay to get this. Show. You have to pay to see the show. But I like how he did it because he also wrote his character in on cinema in the story, invented the high network. I really love I, it's it's I guess meta would be the word. Crackle is back. What crackle? What crackle? Is it better now? How crackly am I? I can't hear my mic, so I don't know. You're not hearing a crackle? Okay, driver parallel lines for PC. Trial the, the trial of Tim Heidecker, yeah. 
That, it, one of the best on cinema things, the Tim Heidecker trial. Sim City Societies. My favorite thing are the uh, the Oscar specials, so I'm very excited for this year's. It'll be the first I get to watch as it's happening. For the longest time, you avoided on cinema because you thought they actually had, you thought you had to know anything about the movies. No, you definitely don't have to know anything about the movies to watch on cinema. Much like you don't have to know that much about politics to watch Veep, another show I highly recommend. Which seems, it seems like it could be off-putting at first. That is what I will be doing instead of paying attention to any elections that my, may or may not go on this year. I will just watch Veep, I think. It's what I did last time. <laughs> it's what I did last time. Okay, okay, I gotta alphabetize the jewel cases first. It's like RLM with more sketchy comedy. Yeah, I think he started doing on cinema after he appeared on a on an RLM video or something. I feel like I, I heard that. I did hear about Rooster Teeth shut down. I'm, I'm way behind on the times though, cause I didn't, I didn't know that they got bought by uh, Warner Brother. I had no idea. Casual Strike, this is a DVD. See ya Chaka. Oh wow. Gokai Orange, thank you very much for the 10 months. Thank you, thank you. My. Am I sorting things by Disney, or am I sorting things by Buzz Lightyear? A, B, C, D. I guess I'm sorting by Disney. It's confusing. Yeah, they did uh, Red vs. Blue, they did Ruby. They did do a Sims 2 machinima. What was that thing called? Not the Neighbors. The Neighbors was... What's his face? Tommy Wiseau did Neighbor? No, The Neighborhood. Strangerhood. Otter Media got bought by Warner Brothers there. Rooster Teeth's parent. Who the fuck is Otter? I've never heard of Otter Media before. Basically, I don't know what's going on. I don't know who anybody is. I don't know. <laughs> it would be my, my summary of uh, what's currently going on. Beyond, that's B. B. Oh, this is just, I need more space. I didn't watch much Rooster Teeth. I watched, I watched some Red vs. Blue when it was just coming out. But other than that, I did not I did not consume much rooster teeth. Any games or media I'm specifically looking for? I mean, how real we want to be here? Am I allowed to say dot hack games two and three? Because that those have uh, those have rocketed to the top of the list today. <laughs> dot hack games two and three. <laughs> Uh, T, QRST, next to Super Cow here. I feel so green in this, I need to, hold on, let me change, I feel so green. I did get Super Cow, can you tell us anything? I don't know anything about Super Cow, if you know, please let me know. I did get four and you did miss it, Ben. Mo sent it. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, you turn auto white balance off and suddenly I look like a normal person again. I don't look so sickly anymore. Can I get some more? Yeah, 
I could be, I could be in the dark a little bit more though. I could, <laughs> it could be dimmed. Okay, much better. Dude, that's what I'm saying, Ben. <laughs> he got, he not only, I don't, I already moved it out of the room. He got me one that had like a cool graphics card too. Or not a gra graphics, cool memory card. Okay. Ultimate mini golf. Should I should I put all mini golf under m m mini or should I put it under ultimate? If you'd found the card first, that would have been all I got. That's fair. Mo said he got a great. He only spent ten dollars on it. That's what he said. So I don't have to feel guilty about it at all. Ultimate. Oh my god, you're gonna make me put ultimate mini golf. So. So you're saying that these two games, Mini Golf 1 and Mini Golf 2, should go in vastly different places on the shelf, is what I'm being told right now. You don't understand, Ben, he got a great deal. Oh, who was on, Mo, who was on the other uh, memory card? is my favorite character, so great, great choice. Such a deal. 3D Dinosaur Adventure. Carnivore. So many Carnivores games. Okay. So I got a lot of... I think it was from Sam. I got a, like, so, a lot of softwares. What do we think about putting softwares in a different location. Like if this was a game shelf and maybe this shelf became the, the software's shelf. Cause I'm, I'm trying to think of how to save space on this shelf in particular. And I think a software shelf could be the answer. Stuff like the party crafts. This is more Thomas. Train town, lots of trains. I got a lot of trains going on over here. Excuse, could we get a ban on 2H for suggesting I move the Sonic toys? These are figurines and they can't be moved. They're structurally integral to the shelf. Okay. What do you mean there's no leg? What's here? What's here? What would you call this? You questioning my Sonic figurines? Leg lives. I think I am going to do software shelf. That's all necessary then. Okay, marble drop. That's a game. I don't know if Mesolore exploring Mesoamerican culture, that's probably a software, right? Okay. Pro bowling. I'm excited for pro bowling actually. I am I am very pro bowling. It's driving me crazy that we are putting ultimate mini golf in you. I won't say that it's con like consuming my mind, but it is act it is taking up a huge chunk of my brain right now. Do edutainment games go under software? No. Edutainment games would go under games. I'm talking like Microsoft Publisher, Encyclopedia Britannica. Call it Mini Golf, comma, Ultimate. That would make sense. I just, there's so many, there's so many mini golf games. I could have a mini golf shelf. Thinking skills feature, featuring the Muppets. I had a frogger out here already. Firefighter. Okay, I must not have a physical case of frogger until now. 
can I organize the shelves just by color? I will say that you can spot the Barbie section by color. It's hard in the, the light for your camera right here, but this section here is aggressively pink. It's uh, extremely obvious where the Barbie games are. SimCity, Grand Casino. Mmm, what a hamburger. Uh, Unusun, Unusun. Thank you for gifting that sub. Thank you, thank you. Really? Okay, grand G. I'm running out of space. I'll put F and G together. Amazon A. Put A and B together. Microbe Zoo. Marble Drop. Leonardo the Inventor. This could be a game or a mm. software. I guess if I'm not sure. Okay. No. Doesn't really say. I'll put it in game if I'm not sure. L. Don't have L. Put L and M together. P. Puppy Love. Oh, thanks, mail carrier. Happy to be background noise for everybody doing background tasks currently. Uno Bert, thanks so much for the 52 months. Sorting stuff is cool. It sure is. Yeah, Lupin loves puppy love. I gotta say, I looked up puppy, lo puppy love, or I guess Lupin posted puppy love. It looks a lot less scary than the pets and the cats games. Pe the pets and the cats games are a little creepy. North American birds. Dude, my fantasy wedding is going for like 50 bucks on eBay. There's so many copies of it, but for some reason my fantasy wedding, I think it I think it was my fantasy wedding that was super expensive. Could be price fixing. For sure. Like, who's, who's buying that? Standing twins. Uh, in. CD sampler. Pinball madness. Start selling my expensive. I'm probably not gonna sell my expensive gifts, but I do think, I think if I have duplicates, how do we feel about if I get duplicates, say you sent something into me and I already had it, how would you feel emotionally if I used it as like a bingo giveaway? Like a random person could win some duplicate media versus me just going to half price and dumping it there. I feel like raffling them off would be a fun, even if you don't play the thing, it could be cool to, to get anyway. <laughs> yeah, Moe's gonna invest in another copy of Dot Hack 4 just for the giveaway. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad that seems okay because that that's on my list of ideas for this upcoming season. I wanna have more, I wanna have something other than just sub drops. I think duplicate games and then, uh, yeah, I could sign it. Duplicate games and then uh, maybe shirt give giveaways would be doable. If you sent it and win it back, that'd be some cool twist of fate, right? J, 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 K, H, I, J, K. NFL Fever, these might need to go in a binder. Oh, well, I don't know, they have, they're in like a combination. Uh, what is a giggle bone gang? <laughs> what is a, what's a giggle bone gang? I have no idea what, 
What that is? Oh, no. Great question. Is this something that I would know if I was more on the internet? Bungie? I don't understand any of this. <laughs> What's happening? I, it's part of me thinks that that the chat colludes to invent fake memes and then comes and tells me about them and pretends that they're real things to see if I'll if I'll add it to my uh, vernacular. He's on to us. Then he played it. Then he played Gigglebone Gang. Mm. Okay, Precision Racing. There we go. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, don't gaslight. We just got that movie about the dangers of gaslighting. You shouldn't be doing this to me. NFL fever. We sure the movie doesn't support gaslighting? That's true. That's true. I need to watch the movie first and then I'll know. Regular Tyler. Tyler. America's most perfect child, Tyler. Thank you for the three months. What, three months? It's like I've been watching you for like 10 years, but now I'm actually subscribed. Thank you so much, Tyler. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, the fact that I can have been watched for 10 years. Ooh. Makes me, makes me think about how I'm wearing knee braces right now. My youthful knee braces so I can Bend, knee, knee pain free, cause I'm so spry. I've been watching myself for my whole life. I guess that's true. Super hip knee braces, yeah. Ooh, do compression socks? Maybe I will, maybe I'll get on the compression sock train. Okay, this is Baseball 2000. You have rickets? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but I'm wearing knee braces and I've got my special orthotic shoes. You know, all, all, what, it's, it's trendy with the youths to uh, get some orthotics, <laughs> get some knee braces. What are compression socks for? <laughs> hearing aid? <laughs> give me, give me a little bit longer for the hearing aid. Give me a little bit longer for the hearing aid. I do need my I do need my glasses uh, prescription updated. So that's there's that. Compressing? Why would I Why would I want to compress my feet? My feet are small enough as it is. They don't need to be compressed. I'm just gonna fall over even more. I'm not hanging out in bingo halls yet, but I am running my own bingo show. So which is worse? <laughs> Tell us more about my tiny, itty bitty feet. Well, I'm tall, they're small, therefore I fall. <laughs> Would be pretty much all you need to know. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do, these aren't as good 
empty CD cases as I, as I thought. Ricketts is from lack of magnesium. Well, I chug magnesium daily, so can't be Ricketts. Uh, where did that go? I just had... Don't trust the big angle. This one? You trust this Ian, but not this Ian? That guy over there? This, this guy over here? That's fair. That's fair. It's good to be, it's good to be on guard. Okay. Well, I thought I had this game. I guess I'll hold on to it to wait and see. Close Combat 3. The Russian Front is not a software, but it is going to go into a binder because I don't have a box for it. <laughs> one tells the truth, and one always lies. It is I, the Brothers Paradox. Okay, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to count that as a game instead of a software. I know it's kind of a software, but... Oh, wait, these I already organized. I already did that. What should you name your new Animal Crossing Island? How about uh, Chitole? Oh, mamma mia, I need to move to Chitole. Microsoft, Microsoft Precision Racing? Would you put Microsoft Precision Racing under Microsoft or Precision Racing? Microsoft Precision. It's the publisher, not the game, but I feel like it's like here. It's like Microsoft Baseball. It's not just Baseball 2000. It's specifically Microsoft Baseball. Uh, NFL Fever. I'm going to stick it by... Yeah, I think I'm going to stick it by Microsoft. To me, that sounds right. Oh my god, carnivores, carnivores, carnivores. It's gonna take me years to play through all these carnivores games. Math Blaster, carnivores, army men, Disney. I think I have space in the Disney section. School Tycoon looks good, by the way. I'm excited for School Tycoon. Did I see that Konami made a new Gate Guardian card? That doesn't suck. I don't know what was wrong with the first Gate Guardian. Okay, school, sim. Which mod gets all the games when I die? There's a raffle going, actually. All the mods have placed bets on when I'm going to croak and whoever's closest gets gets the games. No interference though. You're not allowed to carry out any murder plots. I do have Microsoft Golf. I have Microsoft Golf and I have Microsoft Golf 99 or at least the box for it. Strike Commander, Bookshelf, Duke Nukem 3D needs to go in a binder, Fun Pack, Iron Storm, Carnivores, 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 links. Where am I putting L? Discord is making memes of me. Time to shut it down. What's happening? Well, hold on.
Wow. Screenshotting my full body like that? Unacceptable. No more, no more discussion. It's just gonna be for alerts. It's just gonna be for alerts now. <laughs> Franklin the turtle goes to school. Magic school bus uh, does magic. Math blaster, thinking things. Zoom beanies. The only streamers I know who hates engagement. I like engagement, it's just, uh, you know, how I like it. <laughs> I don't like people having fun. No fun. Yeah, no fun, no boinking. My Discord's for intelligent discussion only, okay? Only the most intelligent of discussions. I'm gonna put E. E. Oh wait, these are, these gotta go in a binder. Mommy guide, CD, ROM, cabbage patch, kids, cuddle and care baby. I'll put that under M, I guess. Does Playhouse Disney go under P? Playhouse Disney, Stanley Wild for Sharks. Is that P, D, or S? Playhouse Disney, Disney, or Stanley Wild for Sharks? P, you guys are crazy. <laughs> you guys are fucking nuts. Uh, I'm going with P. See, I'm kind of with green, green grapes. I think I would have put it in Disney, Disney category. Oh, I do have Microsoft Golf. Oh, it's a double disc. Uh... I like to put similar stuff together, so I would Disney. Yeah, that's what I would do too, but it's too late. That's why you don't let chat have input on your organization. Everything just goes fucking nuts. Okay. So now the hard part is trying to judge. Ooh, this is dangerous. I could trip on this and die. Dude. What, a, what an epic fail it would be if I tripped and died on my cleaning stream, right? That would be, that would suck sores. You know? More crackling? What's the crackle? Oh! Oh, it probably is crackling for you now? Hmm, hold on, okay. Okay, hold on. The, uh... The receiver on my wireless mic is saying it's low on battery. Let me see if I can charge it while I use it. Okay. Now, let me know if this does anything bad. Does it sound still okay? Sound okay still? Yes? Hello? Yes? Okay. Okay, receiver is charging. I don't have the transmitter, I don't have a battery light, so it should be fine. Should be fine. And the, uh, the older version of this mic, it, uh, it wouldn't let me plug in. Like, audio popcorn? It's still crackling? Maybe I should charge both. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Oh. Okay, can you still hear me now? Am I quiet?
quiet. I'm good. I'm good. Tiny bit quiet. Ba 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 ba. Hey, ba ba ba. Well, yeah, I sound totally. It's a totally different microphone, so I am going to sound different. Okay, let me charge these things. They probably just need to be charged. And then I can go back to using them. Because, like I said, I gotta crawl around on the ground here in a bit, so I kind of need the wireless mic. Gotta bring the popping back. Okay, I need another USB-C cable. Hello, USB-C! You are not USB-C. Well, it gives me a chance to try this out. I hooked this up for bingo, actually. So now I can... Hey, welcome to the bingo board! That kind of a thing. Don't, don't trip. Oh, because of, uh, because of this? It's fine, I won't trip. Actually, one of the things I have to do is run some cables from the computer over here and, and cover it with an anti-trip strip, anti-trip strip. I'm not checking the Discord again, they're memeing in there. Why would I go in there? Would it take Brutal BF to find me if I did die? I don't know. A couple weeks, maybe? Okay, okay, so... The question now is... How far down should I move everything to make sure I have space for all these jewel cases? It looks like it's... gonna be at least a full section. Maybe I should just move these bigger box things all the way down. Oh, I have to check Discord. Fine, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get uh, organized here. Gerbert wouldn't approve of that. Gerbert wouldn't approve of that. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, I'm gonna move, uh, I'm gonna move some of these things down. I think I'm gonna go move them all down a shelf. Yeah. The downside is, how am I gonna, how am I gonna hold this and do, there we go. <laughs> this, this'll work. This won't get, uh, really annoying. Anytime soon. No, it's not it's not floor crawling time just yet. It's floor kneeling upon time. But I shan't crawl. We got a lot of sim stuff. Lots of sim stuff. I don't like when I'm doing this and I can't see what the fuck you guys are talking about. I gotta say. And it's not like a lack of trust, but I don't trust you guys. <laughs> uh, Ben, I'm not destroying my knees. I'm wearing knee braces, okay? My knees are safely protected. If you were plugged in at TikTok like I am, you would know that knee braces are all the rage when for when you're organizing uh, your media shelves.
long? Uh, two hours. So, oh, that's not a good battery lifetime. So my wireless lav mic lasted two hours. I mean, that's gonna, bingo's gonna run longer than that. Okay, Sonic figurines. I'm gonna try and get them to stay where they were, but for now, the fuck is, oh, uh oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah, yes. I'm not used to the get it alert being back. It, it, it catches me off guard. T-Girl93, thank you very much for the 74 months. You have the new DJI mics. They go for six to eight hours. I feel like that's what these were advertised to do. So it's strange they only did two. I feel like two seems low. But to be fair, only the receiver was showing red. So maybe if I just plugged the receiver in, it would be fine. Yeah, two seems very low. And they're they're new mics too. They're not uh not old. I had to get them because I blew out the other one because I plugged it into the wrong power cord. Yeah, they could be defective. It could be, it could be, Sam, that could be right. Thank you, T-Girl, I am doing just fine. I'm having a great stream today, actually. Nice productive stream. Usually I'm uh, doing something fun, but now I'm doing what I think is fun, which is I get to clean. This might sound good or bad, by the way. I know it sounded different when I changed, but does it sound usable? Sounds good? Welcome to Bingo XP! Come on up and play! Almost start putting stuff on the shelf. This probably is going to be overkill, but sounds like the food vids. Do I f feel more powerful with a hand mic? Kind of. It is. It is nice to hold and have. I like to hold the cable too and be like, oh, ba 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 ba. Uh, but I do miss the freedom of the lav mic. I can. I have hands for stabbing with the lav mic. Yeah, Bingo 98 is rebranding a little bit. Um, we're going to do Bingo XP next because we are uh, playing on my Windows XP computer, but it will essentially be the same the same selection of games. They'll just actually work <laughs> more often. Um, but it will it will essentially be the same show with some changes. Like some updates. Yeah, not a not a problem. But we are uh, I'm trying to gear up for that soon. Hence the no game stream today. No, thank you everybody for hanging out. I feel like a pretty nice turnout for a what I would consider sort of a nothing stream. Okay. Overkill, but maybe I'll leave some extra space. Oh, I'm um, got a cable.
Yeah, there's two angles. There's actually three camera angles. I'm not using this one right now. Over here. Welcome to Bingo XP! And then later, assuming I get there during this stream, I will be connecting even more cameras to the setup. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna move this chunk of games over yonder. <laughs> Want a fourth angle? I don't have a fourth angle currently. Yes, this is how I'm going to host Bingo XP. Every episode, I will be sounding just like this. Okay, 1001 3D Dinosaur 3D How late am I planning on going? Uh, I don't know. Depends on how much shit I get done, I guess. I don't have a plan. This is uh This is my my most of my work today is going to be done on stream, I would think. Am I mocking my own voice? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Backyard, Britannica, Amazon, Beyond. Oh, can you see the Barbie pink section now? Dude, Bingo PS2 is gonna be good. The problem with Bingo PS2 is what am I gonna call it? What should I name the, the PS2 Bingo season? Amazon Trail. Beyond Planet Earth. <laughs> I, Pingo S2 is currently the front runner. Pingo S2 is pretty good. Pingo is <laughs> Bingo Station 2. I mean, I could I could roll with Pingo S2. I think. <laughs> I may stick with Pingo S2. Honestly, just so I could go PINGO! Okay, Beyond Planet Earth uh, is Beyond Barbie. Uh, Barbie, Barbie, Barney, Bailey, Battleship. Yes, he definitely overkill because I'm already at B. Britannica Solitaire. Well, can't wait to play Britannica World's Best Solitaire. I know that one's gonna show up in bingo and I know we're gonna play it probably all. It's gonna keep getting continued. Ian, I need someone to tell me to finally get to work. You're not gonna find him here. Avoid work. Hang out with me instead. No, go to work. Go to work. I'm not doing shit. Why are you watching me? Go to work. Everybody leave right now and go to, <laughs> go to work. Get the fuck out of here! Okay, Agon, Army Men. Uh... That helped. I'm glad. I'm glad to be of service. Okay, Agon, Army Men. Best of slots too? I have so many best of slots. How are there so many slots that are the, the best? Mm-hmm. 
Do I avoid saying your username because I don't know how to pronounce it? Or am I... No, I don't think so. Now I'm avoiding it because uh, you think I'm avoiding it. So now I'm just going to avoid it because you gave me the fun idea. I wasn't... Uh... I wasn't intentionally avoiding it. I don't think so. I can't pronounce anybody's username correctly. Why would uh, why would yours dissuade me? Sickowie, sickowie, sickowie. That's probably it. Yeah, I'm lucky if I pronounce my own username correctly. Carnivore. Carnivore, corner, carnivore, carnivore, carnivore. Casual strike. Carnivore goes, okay. It's really unfortunate placement here. Casual. Casual Strike can hang out by Candyland. Carnivore! Carnivores! Carnivores! Ice Age! Carnivores! Wait, is this just another? Oh no, Carnivores 2. Carnivores! Carnivores 2. Carnivores Ice Age. Carnivores Cityscape. Someone's gotta... Get a handle on these carnivores. Egbert Live, thank you very much for the 15 months. Here's hoping we'll see some Lego Rock Raiders in the XP bingo streams. You just might. Who knows? I have not, um, I've not put together the selection for bingo just yet. That's one of the last things I'm going to do. My idea, basically, is to set up, set up the bingo format to be really easy to dive in again. I want, I want it to be something that probably runs a little bit shorter than previous seasons like we get through it a little bit faster and and do it more often is is kind of the idea i'm going for what up panda fish i'm gonna set it up i think i'm setting it up uh, to where every pull will hit a number is a change that i'm making Uh, I, D, P, F, F. Yeah, F, I think. How do I guarantee that? Well, I make sure that, that the only balls in the basket are active numbers, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna be rigging it. But it seemed like, looking back on previous seasons, it seems like people get disappointed when you draw a number and nothing happens. So I'm just gonna try and make things happen more often. Okay. Fucking Franklin the Turtle goes to school. Grant E F G Frogger. Speed bingo. We'll see. If it doesn't work out, you know, if people don't like the change, we'll just revert back. I also think. Um, I think the, the games at the end, I've been thinking about the games at the end, like the last doors for when a game ends. I'm, I think I'm going to try and have it, have the three games behind those doors be games that we played during the season rather than random shit. Um... Because I think it'd be cool if, if the game that we end up playing all of is something that we get from the main season. E F F 
family fun pack fun pack there's so many fucking fun packs I'm having so much fun over here goosebumps girl talk fun pack what am I afraid of uh leaving the house ah what are you afraid of Am I aiming for the season to last longer or shorter time? I think shorter. I think shorter. I think if we could get through a bingo season or a bingo round in a couple streams, I feel like that'd be good. Um, but I think I think the way I'm setting it up, it might be more volatile. It might some seasons might be shorter, some seasons might be longer. I just want it to be easy to. Uh, get back into another season instead of uh, having to reset everything up and shit. Franklin the Turtle. Franklin. Uh, Franklin. Okay, he's hanging out next to Frankenstein. They'll be good friends. Getting there. Getting there. Only a few more piles to go. We get another bingo XP after this season? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, eventually, yes. But I do want to do bingo. Uh, Pingo S2. Having door games as big rewards for chat. Uh, the problem with that is, honestly, the problem with that is every season I would need to pick out a new spread of possible games. Whereas if I drew them from existing games uh, in the season, it, the you know the season would give me the game. Does that make sense? But again, we'll we'll test it out this season, and if it's not as good, I'll go back to the other way. You know, it's it's very changeable. Very modular. That's okay, Ben. I'm already thinking. I'm already gonna delete delete home in the new Discord update. So home's getting deleted anyway. Zarek Amory, thank you very much for the 22 months. Looking nice. Thank you. I'm assuming you mean this uh, lovely shelf. It is looking quite nice. Need some water. Feeling kind of snacky. I wish I had a snack. Anybody eating something? Let, let me know what you're eating, and then I can imagine myself eating that food, and that it'll be that's good enough. Links, links, L M. Oh, Korean chicken sounds good. Pizza. Pizza baguette. Oh. Dark chocolate covered pretzels. Oh my god. Okay. It's like I've eaten now. I've imagined eating those things. Oh wait, thinking things is... Things is in the wrong pile. Are these are Sesame Street S? Okay. 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 These are I. Oh shit! I'm on a new fad diet. It's called I ask my chat what they're eating. I already ate. I had lunch. I don't I don't need to eat. 
I just want to eat. Okay, H I Iron Storm. Insecticide. Getting there, getting there. Ordering Jamaican food, what are you getting? I don't know that I've had Jamaican food. <laughs> Sniff one glass of water a night before bed, yep. That's why I'm so skinny, I'm so svelte. You can't really see, I, I wear the all black so you can't see what's going on in this, <laughs> in this zone. Oh my god, for the Oscar special, this is only gonna matter to on cinema people, but for the Oscar special, we're already, we're planning on having popcorn. We're gonna have uh, some some chili. What was the other thing we we're gonna have? Popcorn, chili, and oh, I forget. It's a it's a random smattering of things. I'm like most excited for the the chili. It won't be Chaplin's chili, but. Uh, Medical advice. That's not cornbread. It's another reference to on cinema. It's chili, popcorn, and I'll think about it. I'll think of it. But popcorn and chili uh, clearly go hand in hand. Okay. U M M S L L L L. RJ shakes. Actually, I think it is shakes. I think we we're gonna get shakes. Oh my god. Corn dog. She's thinking about it. In or out, baby. In or out. We've chosen in. Get on your chair here. You like your chair? You should, you should, you're gonna turn around and ask to go right back out. Sam Dub One, thank you for the three dollars. You sound hungry. Have a corn dog. Mmm. Not hungry anymore. All full on corn dog. Thanks, Sam. Okay. She wants me to come. She's probably trying to get me to come look at her window. Thank you. And that was a visit from the queen. I hope you all enjoyed that. What's in the window, MJ? Who is that other cat? I guess virtual connect should be under V, huh? I was gonna put it under connects, but. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Oh, K. 
can go next to the other Jeopardy. MJ window cam. You like the jazz flute? Dude, all of my, uh, my lovely subscriber pals are all chatting in Discord instead of hanging out with me here. Used to have a rule about that. I have Discord open. I see you guys. I see what you're doing. I see your crimes. We're going to play chess. Lynx. Lego. Same cold brew maker. I don't have do uh I guess does my coffee maker also do cold brew? I don't I don't drink a cold brew. No, a, a bingo prize cannot be me licking anything. No, that's I ruled that out. <laughs> Officially ruled out Ian licks something as a bingo prize. Okay, M. I have a lot of M's. M, M. I'd love to go back to my lav mic. As much as I love holding this microphone, it would be nice to have both hands for this process. Okay, so I guess I could... Since I'm putting Mavis Beacon in the uh, software shelf, I'll put Mavis Beacon teaches typing for kids on the software shelf. Kicking, sniffing, stabbing. No, none of, none of this. None of these. Rejected. All these ideas are rejected. Bottle looks like yours from a Sobu cold brew maker. This bottle? This is a big old water bottle. Hmm. Tuck the bottom of the mic in my bandana. Could I tuck it behind my ear maybe? No? Yeah, it is a swell water bottle. Okay, I'm gonna do M's now. Let me organize the M's first. <laughs> Very Britney Spears. What'd you miss, Mo? Were you gone? Okay, Microsoft. Microsoft needs its own, like... Microsoft Golf, Mommy, something or another, Math Blaster, Magic School Bus. Ooh, went to call your folks? That's nice. That's a nice thing to do. Math Blaster, Microsoft, NFL Fever. Microsoft. Nile Passage to Egypt. That's prob- no, that looked like a- that was a game. That looked like a game. My Fantasy Wedding. You suddenly want a corn dog? I don't know what I would eat if I could eat right now. I'm so full from all the fictional food that I've been ingesting lately. Why 
uh, Wailau Faison. Wailau Faison. Wailau Faison. Thank you for the three months. Hey, Ian. Finally, I'm able to catch you live. I was looking for games to play when I found something that reminds me of you. I don't know if you've played it before. It's called Hypnospace Outlaw. Anyways, love your streams. Thank you so much, Y. I actually, I don't know. I don't know how to respond. <laughs> I don't know how to respond. I, I, I quite enjoy Hypnospace Outlaw. I quite enjoy Hyp Hypnospace Outlaw. At this point, I have no idea if when people... When people recommend me Hypnospace, I have no idea if they're doing it honestly or not. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing it uh, for the meme or if it was a uh, an honest... I'm going to take it as an honest recommendation. Hypnospace is, is awesome. I'm very excited for Dream Settler. I don't think I would stream it because uh, it's like exclusively reading. So much reading. Well, I know, I know you guys are doing it for the meme. You guys are just out here to make my life so hard. Uh, mini golf. As I'm sorting through my generously donated games. <laughs> you make, making my life so hard. Why do you keep sending my stuff? I have to organize it? Ah! Oh. <laughs> You just wouldn't send me anything. I wouldn't have to organize shit. I should just angrily explode. Hypnospace Elma, how dare you? You get the fuck out of here. I can wave my arms around. It's honest, okay. No, thank you very much. I, I watched uh, last last Christmas, Christmas before last. Uh, I watched my boyfriend play through Hypnospace like two or three times. Uh, very good. I, I haven't played it because I'm shit at, at reading. I would rather watch somebody play it. But I get recommended the game constantly. Constantly. There was a point where it was, when it was new, it was happening all the time. So it turned into a, a bit of a inside joke uh, for the the chat. Math Blaster, Math Blaster, Math Blaster. Marble. Marble drop. Uh. this major league math okay as a riven playthrough on the table definitely definitely I don't know when I don't know when but I I, I will play riven yeah I got, there's just so many games, man. And I got to play Sims over and over again. But I do love Riven. And it, it was fun, it was fun playing Mist. I thought I would, honestly, I thought I would kind of hate streaming Mist uh, for people, but it was actually a lot of fun. And uh, I love, I love Riven. Got Riven for yourself. Look, they're, they're doing the remake, the Riven remake. How do we feel about the Riven remake? How do hey, you guys? You guys see this? You guys hear about this? The the Riven remake. What's the deal? Okay, Microsoft and Mini. Mini. Uh, mini Golf and Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> open mic. I would be terrible at stand-up. Holy shit.
Yeah, Seeker Jetty, what happened with that? Because I knew that I knew that there was a fan-made uh, ribbon project going. Did they buy that? Did they work with the fan-made project? Because they were promoting it for a little while, I think. Did they? Yeah. Did they hire them? How did they? How did that shake out? Microbe Zoo. Okay, Microsoft Golf. I got Microsoft Golf. <laughs> Microsoft Precision. Microsoft Baseball. Microsoft Flight. They mostly did not. Interesting. Gotta open the CD case real quick. Oh, Grand Inquisitor. I don't know that one. I've not. Not privy to the Grand Inquisitor. Okay, uh, there we go. Microsoft Mini Golf. M's? Oh, wait, no, Mommy's CD or whatever. All right. I'm checking in with the lurkers. What are we what are we doing today? Anybody cleaning? Is anybody organizing? Cleaning or organizing with me? Let me know. Let me know. I, I want to know. Wow leveling. Classic or a, a other one. Clean the kitchen. That's nice. Cleaning the email box. My email box keeps saying, your storage is 99% full. If you don't clean out your email box, you're not going to get any emails. And I'm just like, eh. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Gonna clean, but you're using the stream as an excuse to avoid it? Just take me with you. Put me on your phone and do some cleaning. Bored at work. Okay. Well, you know, this game, my fantasy wedding, maybe we should all consider what our, our fantasy wedding uh, would, would be. Or is? Was? Depends on your marital status, and if that wedding Yo, lived up dude. Oh, you. to your expectations. Hold on, I'm putting uh, my fucking wedding on the show. <laughs> I forgot the name of it, my fucking wedding. Zopstrosity! Oh, look it, I can uh, really announce the... Zopstrosity, thank you so much for the $7 and change. Just got my tax return, and I'm spending it on a Drekast in Shinmu tomorrow at work. I can get a good discount, but it's still probably an unwise decision. Ha ha! Oh well, happy cleaning! <laughs> thank you so much, Zop. Ha ha! <laughs> Thank you so much, Zop. I have the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you sent in the, the the lot of all the PS2 games. I have the Zopstrosity binder now, just full of all of those, all of those games. Ha ha!
fantasy wedding has always been to have the reception venue and catering be done by the Costco food court. That'd be cool. What if the re what if the actual proceedings took place at like the self checkout or the the regular checkout and the person checking you out says, "Do you? Do you?" I now pronounce you. Actually, wait, hold on a second. Could I check your Costco card? Could I get a look at those Costco cards real quick? Okay, okay. Man and wife. Or wife and wife, or, you know, what have you. Okay, Leonardo the Inventor is going on the shelf. Can I look at that Costco card? Mm, before you get into the reception here at the, uh, at the, uh, Costco food court, could I, could I check your, uh, card? Could you flip it around so I can see the picture, actually? Mm, okay. Okay. Okay, you could get married here, I guess. <laughs> the ceremony is you join your memberships. Oh, you get to cancel one of the memberships. And suddenly it's a, oh, that's, that's very romantic, actually. <laughs> I like that a lot. Driving from the Netherlands to Germany. Are you watching and, and chatting as you drive? That doesn't sound super safe, but, I mean, you can't miss a moose stream. <laughs> oh, in Eurochuck. Okay. Uh, what do I got here? Ultimate, mini golf... Uh, S T M P P P. <laughs> my lawyer. <laughs> yeah, my lawyer watches my streams and is is always like, you can't say that. You can't give that advice. Don't tell people to watch you and drive. Don't tell people about the papooses at Costco. Those are mine. Okay, Pro Bowl. I got these backwards. Playhouse Disney. And... Key. Purple Moon. Puzz 3D. Swap back to the lab mic yet? You can't tell people to rub salt in their eyes. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I set the stream for mature audiences. I thought that meant that they were mature enough to make their own decisions despite what I said. Pinball, pinball. Oh, the Nancy Drew binder won't fit. No. Figure that out later. I could just start saying slash s every time I say every every sentence. Every time I say anything, I can just start saying that was a joke. That was sarcasm, by the way. Oh wow! That was a joke. Sorry, I said that. Pink Panther, Passport to Peril, Police Chase. Okay, Pinball Science. Here we go. Boom. 
Puppy love. Boom. Pro Bowl. Boom. Boom. Ooh, get a slash S tattoo. I could get a slash S tattoo like right by my mouth. So it's like, it's everything, you know, it follows everything I say. <laughs> Start everything with some say. Some say you should rub salt in your eyes. I'm not saying to do that, but some people say to do it. How will we know when you aren't being sarcastic? I'll cover up the I'll cover up the sarcastic tattoo when I'm, when I'm being honest. Which is great because I always have a lot of honest confessions like this. Oh my god, you guys! Bean bag! Thank you for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you. How has this taken me three hours already? I'm supposed to do other stuff. Okay, Niall, NFL Fever. Cataloging does take a lot longer than I expect. But you know, at least something's getting done. If I was streaming Sims all day today, I would turn around, I would look at all this shit and be like, what the fuck? Okay. I'm almost through the letters though. I have more fun playing Sims? Maybe. Not if I was thinking about this mess back here. Um, I'm actually going to go take a quick uh, panther piss and maybe uh, get a new pee fuel. Pee out the old, out with the old, in with the new. No, I'm not taking the mic. In fact, it's not even plugged in. It's not even plugged in right now. And I'm still going to take it off just in case. Just in case. You're stuck here. Okay, I will be right back. Get up, stretch, or, you know, don't let me tell you what to do. Do whatever you want. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back in just a little bit. Uh, do you guys want music or do you want uh, an intermission? MJ, I don't have, I don't have MJ here. MJ Cam, I can't provide that. Shinmu intermission, sure, I'll do a Shin, I'll do a Shinmu intermission. You want Tom fishing or market? Tom, okay, I will be right back. Refresh yourself. It's intermission time. The concession stand is open and ready to serve you. I gotta give up, uh, 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 the funky river, uh, uh, uh. Let me take you on a trip. Let me take you on a ride.
the funky rhythm. Uh, uh, uh. Let me take you on a trip. Let me take you on a ride. Hello? 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 I'm back. How was, uh, how was Tom? Who <laughs> am I? Very nice. Very nice. Had my piss. Had a quick hit. Got my pee fuel, which is super concentrated because this cup is not big enough. Smurf juice. I don't like that actually. <laughs> the Gourmania. <laughs> I can make that happen. I can make that happen. I can make the Gourmania song happen. Honestly, it's a little... I like my, uh... I like my G Fuel. But something about thinking of it as, as Smurf juice is not really <laughs> doing any favors. Okay, SimCity, Super Cow, Strike, C... Ended up randomly getting in the right order. Brutal Foods, Brutal Foods G Fuel. Brutal Fuels? Probably not happening. Probably not happening. I don't. I like G Fuel, but I don't want to drink that much <laughs> to taste a bunch of flavors. I assumed G Fuel was Gatorade associated. 
I could see how you could make that, uh... Mistake. Soft key poker. Purple moon. Puzz. What did I miss? Did anything interesting happen while I was gone? I feel like everybody was talking and then I showed up and everybody scattered. Schoolhouse, school tycoon. We were grooving. We weren't talking about you, that's good to know. Okay, strike commander. I'm surprised I don't have more. Oh wait, no. Oh shit. Okay, somebody who knows games. Are these all separate games? I have a disc here. That says strike commander, syndicate plus, pagan ultimate eight and wing commander. Are those all separate games? Three or four game pack? Okay. I should honestly have a section for, uh... Like, compilations? Compilations of stuff that aren't... I mean, they might be related, but uh, uncategorizable? Where would you put that? At the end? Maybe at the... The end of everything? Wing Commander has FMB cheese? What kind of game is Wing Commander? I recognize the name. See, the problem with alphabetizing by first game on the list is that... Say I alphabetize by Strike Commander, and I want to play Pagan Ultima 8. How am I going to know that it's under Strike Commander? I I think when I logged the game, I typed all of this shit in. Various artists. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy five, four copies of the game. Oh my god, during my break, I showed, uh, I showed my boyfriend the stuff, the stuff, well, the stuff that you guys got me that I took out, at least, and he was just like, what am I supposed to get you? Which is exactly, which is exactly what I said he was going to say. Sick owie. Thank you for the two months. Thank you, Ian, for helping me get to work. You do that work. Dot Act 2 and 3, that's what I should have said. I haven't built a shrine to quarantine yet, but give me some time. Okay, thinking things, Thomas and friends. is to be more creative. He's got a lot of competition, to be fair. You guys send in a lot of really cool stuff. Which thinking things are you thinking of? This is thinking things three. I think I have thinking things two as well. Possibly. Somewhere. Oh, what the? Oh. Oh, this isn't Train Town. This is 3D Ultra Train Town. I, yeah, I played Reader Rabbit as a child. I, I don't think we've played a river, river, a river rabbit in a little while. Did we play one in a bingo season? And I just forgot. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, not since Bingo? Okay. So occasionally. I feel like Reader Rabbit, at least the ones I remember playing, aren't super substantial. Like, not a lot of... I mean, they're good if you need to learn how to read, but if you already kind of know how to do it... Oh, not this. No, wait, no, this one's okay. This is, this was a different song. Reader Rabbit had the mic? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I do remember that. Well, that one was worth playing. <laughs> that one was worth playing, if for no other reason than it used the mic. Okay, T, thinking things. I think there was a Reader Rabbit DOS game. Yeah, I think the first one was DOS. If I ever want a job as a library page, this is it. I, I like to organize my own stuff. I don't know, maybe maybe uh, organizing library stuff would be fun. But the thing is, I would do that and then I would come home and organize my own stuff. So I would just never stop organizing. Watch this sad game movie and finish my script for me. What well, what uh, sad movie are we talking about? Like Spy Kids 3D? The sad, sad gay Spy Kids? <laughs> Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Was that... How gay was Shark Boy and Lava Girl? I don't, I don't think... I didn't see it. <laughs> All of Us Strangers. Never seen that one. All of Us Strangers 3D? I only saw Spy Kids 1. Is that one related to all of us strangers? I would love Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I remember the commercials for it. I remember their costumes. I think I may have just been too old when it came out. They're all interconnected. Well, that's going to make for a great video then. I can't wait for the Spy Kids section of your video essay. Okay. Titanic Thief Theme Hospital. Thinking Things. Thinking skills. Thomas and friends. Oh, I forgot about the Sims. Sim farm. You're making Jimmy watch sad movies? That's not very nice. Sim Farm, Sim City, Super Cow. <laughs> Excited to see what Super Cow is all about, honestly. Why alphabetical rather than genre based? Just ease of uh, looking them up for like for streams. I don't want to. I don't want to have to genre. I, I genre organized my DVDs. It's hard to genre organize because things are usually multiple genres. It's really tough doing a, a split up one. I've never played Theme Hospital. Everyone says I would like it. Do it by color. I still don't think... A lot of people suggesting the sort by color... Uh... Idea. Not on board with that one yet. Ultimate Mini Golf Designer. D 
Dewey Decibel System. Yeah, kill wow. What's wrong with uh what's wrong with Dewey? See ya, I lick, e lick, sorb. My last viewed. I don't know, but I don't have no idea what uh, the Dewey Decimal System is. Like, I know it's a categorizing thing, but I'm gonna try and get my lav mic going again because I w really want my hands back. So, give me one moment. Hello, hello. Honestly, the best thing I could do would be to like put on my Libib where everything is located. So if I looked it up on Libib, it would say it's in category whatever. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that's too much, that's too much effort. Uh, no, Wallace Lovecraft, I will not be playing video games today. I don't think so. It's already four. I still have a lot to do. Uh, this is just a a cleaning, categorizing, and, and starting to set up for bingo stream. Also, yes, I hate video games. <laughs> I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention that. It's all right, Wallace. I will, I, I will play a game on Friday. It'll be okay. I guess I could have had Sim Ian in one of these windows, just wandering around. That would have been an option. We're gonna do uh, Mario Party. Mario Friday Night Mario Party on Friday night. Bingo Secrets. Um, yeah, let me look, let me check my notes here, see what I can divulge. I've already divulged a decent amount. I'm thinking about... No. No. <laughs> no. I started to think about how I would pitch that idea, and it needs some more... It needs some more work. <laughs> it needs a little bit of work. Uh, no. Well, okay, I, um... One change that doesn't really matter that I am probably gonna try out is last time I had the bingo cards out on a table, right? So I had to find room for this fucking table and then the uh, winner's lounge was also taking up a full table that is now my retro computer space so I can't use it. Uh, so I'm going to try having the bingo cards on a like a cork board back here. So like, you know, vertical up on the wall versus flat on a table. That's not, you know, it's not a really meaningful change, but it is something that uh, will have changed. So let me actually, let me take, you know, some opinions here for how I'm gonna do the the last time we did it, well, all three times we did it, there were two bingo cards that were kind of competing, right? I think that's the one thing that I'm changing that I'm not sure if the trade-off, because I know that the competition's kind of fun to root throughout the season, but I'm thinking of just having one bingo card end the whole thing and I guess that's the idea. What I, 
The replacement would be instead of pre-picked games for the doors, uh, sometime during the season, I'm still working it out, but sometime during the show, I would need to do a poll where you could pick your favorite games. So chat would, the idea is that chat votes for their favorite games and I would take the top three and those would be the doors. And so we would get to play one of the three favorites from the season rather than a game that's completely unrelated. But, you know, I don't know how people are going to like that or not. Does that make sense? Don't like chat having a voice. People like the unrelated game, but people also really want to, you know, it's like Kyrandia. You know, there's games that we discover during bingo that I don't know that I'll ever get back to. So it might be fun to have the next playthrough be something that actually spawns from the season. And again, that would mean I wouldn't have to choose new games for the doors all the time. So that's my idea. Try it out. We'll see. We'll see. I could change I could change my mind as I set it up. The biggest loss would be the dueling uh, bingo cards because I think people like choosing a side and rooting for it just in uh, life. So it's nice to have a bingo card that you want to win versus just saying, I want that one to win or, or versus saying, that's the only one that can win. Maybe, you know, okay, what about this? Maybe this first season is just games that I pick, but the next season, Behind, I would do a poll between seasons about the games, and the next season would feature games from the previous season. And you would be able to see which games... So that way we would incorporate games from Bingo. Am I overthinking it? I tend to overthink these kinds of things, but... I mean, that's what you do when you, you know, develop a show. Getting too complicated? It's very simple in my brain. In my brain, the idea is that the big ticket items of a season would be from the previous season. It's like, a, it's like one sentence. Have a veto. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. I could keep the games hidden or I could not keep the games hidden. Or do you like is part of the fun, because I, I don't have the perspective that you guys have of what makes the things fun. I'm basically guessing. Is it fun to have the, the, the random words where you're trying to figure out what the category was? Oh, wow. Hidden adds mystery and fun, okay. okay Sims 2. More pointless to you if you don't know what the game is. That's kind of, yeah. And if I had, if I keep the voting against two things, I can like pit chat against each other. I can say, hey, the people voting for this category, don't you just hate those guys that want the other category? Vertical squid. Thank you for the seven months. Can't wait for next bingo season. Uh, my cats Spanky, Alfalfa, and Peach say, hey, hello, Vertical Squid, Spanky, Alfalfa, and Peach. When this change, just make the bingo card a timer. I, I would argue that it was already a timer. They were both, it's just instead of having two things that could end the season, it's just the one. like the categories. See, this is good. It's good to uh, run these by. I'm not saying I will or won't do it, but 
It's good to pitch because it gets it gets it out of my brain where it's kind of a mess and then I have to put it into English words <laughs> and uh, you know, I get to see what sounds messy and what sounds good. Never witnessed or played? If you'd like to check it out, I have all three of the seasons we have done so far on the stream archive on YouTube, youtube.com slash moose2. It's a fun little randomized uh, retro game show. Is that how I should describe it? Why does the water bottle catch you off guard? Because it's wood? I feel like in the the GoPro camera, it looks tiny. Look at how tiny it looks. When I back it up, it looks even small. Look at how tiny it is. It's just like a little cup. I'm picking up what you're putting down, 2H. I did play a little bit of Master Duel, uh, Flash People, just a little bit. I, I Not as much as I probably should have. I'm playing merge games now. Like a real gamer. Fell asleep watching the stream, had a weird ass dream, and woke up. Yeah, this entire time you've been asleep, I've been going, weird dreams, weird dreams, weird dreams, everybody asleep, have a weird dream. When am I gonna play Love and Pies on Twitch? Never. I will play Love and Pies privately. <laughs> It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Love and Pies has been pretty good. Dude, I know people use me to fall asleep. There's so, probably so many people asleep right now. How do you guys feel about all those, those sleepers out there? Got some uh, horrible thoughts you want to vent about people who sleep? <laughs> you fucking disgust me. I've never slept once and I won't. I'm not gonna start now. See, like the SimCity box has five different games in it. It's gonna be hard to remember where all this shit is. Uh... Defender of the Crown, Driver. Okay, James Patterson, Woman's Club, uh, James Patton, holy shit. James Patterson, Woman's Murder Club, Death in Scarlet. Are you putting this in James Patterson? Are you putting this in uh, Women's Murder Club? James? I feel like I wanna put it in James. Well, let me rephrase that. I feel like I want to put the James Patterson game <laughs> alphabetized by the name James. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Hey, important question. If you're the one who needs to find these, why are we choosing where things should be put alphabetically? Don't ask me that question, Lupin. Don't ask me that. I'm just trying to get your opinion. It's for, so when I find, when I can't find the games, I have somebody to blame. It's not that I have too many fucking games. It's that my chat told me to put these in like the worst possible places. 
So driver, parallel lines, are you putting this under driver or are you putting this under parallel lines? D. <laughs> yes. Yes, I put it under, under driver. Okay. Oh my god, why do I have so many? Where did the fuck did all these come from? Why is... Oh, oh. Being a dummy over here. Dude, the alphabet is hard. There's so many letters. Why didn't we just have a shorter alphabet? It would be way easier to alphabetize things. Okay, is that actually everything? Did I do it? Put it under Atari. <laughs> yeah, do we really need W? It's a good question. Forgot I got more G Fuel. Okay, so. It looks like that is done. I don't have to alphabetize these right now. I can just move them back here on this back shelf. I just needed all that shit up off the ground. Thank you, cat. Oh wait, shit. These just go at the end, it's fine. Zoom beanies. And virtual connects. Okay. Now, get some thumbtacks and nail any spare games I have to the wall. That would be cool, actually. That would look pretty cool. I never get an earthquake well yeah me I mean for different reasons yeah me too <laughs> but also for yeah in part yes my games would would fall off the shelf I hope I don't get it it's it's strapped to the wall but that's not gonna keep them from falling out Okay. Back you go. Well, now my honestly my mind is on the the bingo. How bingo games should end. Maybe I'll stick with the two card system, but change up what exactly the card, like maybe it might not be vague categories to think about it. They are always talking about the big one in the Pacific Northwest. It's like the first thing that happened. I moved up here. They, that article, <laughs> that article came out. Welcome to Seattle. You're all, we're all gonna die. Oh my God. Don't wish that upon me, Flash people. Ian versus chat. So what's the, 
What's what are the uh, what are the spoils? If it's Ian versus Chat, what what does the winner get? To, is it a is does it end up being a vote? What becomes behind the doors versus my own choice? Ian top three versus Chat voted top three. Okay, so that way they could still be. It could still be games from the season. Or maybe not. I mean, it would have to be if for a vote. Because I can't, I can't let chat vote between all of my games. I have like a thousand <laughs> PC things now, so that's not possible. I feel like it doesn't ruin the surprise because you'll know what you're playing for, but you knew what you were playing for before. Like I told, I told you what the, the games were, what the three games were before you picked a door. So that'll still happen. You'll still know what three things are behind there. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I'm gonna write that down real quick. I could keep the top three favorite secret. Yeah, I could. But wouldn't you want to know? Wouldn't you, my, my thinking is you would want to know what's behind the doors so you could try and root for a result. Isn't it exciting to know what you want and like hope? Why is my phone going off? Mama. Oh, I, I got next door. It's such a bad idea. Cannot figure out if he is in deep thought or drinking. Me? <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. I think we should know which ones won the vote, but not know what my choices are. Okay, okay. See, I like I like chat versus Ian bingo cards. I like that a lot because it would provide it would be a good source of back and forth season to season. Recap what we're talking about. Uh, well, Poopy Sheer, uh, if you were familiar with my stream show Bingo 98, well, I guess if you're not familiar, I, I have a kind of a game show. I guess it's a game show. Bingo 98 variety gaming show. I'm about to do the next season. And so I am pitching changes to the format to my chat. And they are uh, giving me feedback. And we're currently trying to decide how the round should end. Something I also have to get better about for this, I'm gonna have to type up, I need, I need to plan out how to explain all this shit. I feel like I'm not good at articulating what it is. I'm trying, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> yes, I'm drinking and, and getting feedback, yes. I put, uh, I put a few shots of vodka in this G Fuel. It's my, it's my version of a uh, Four Loco. I'm definitely considering a pre-recorded pre edited intro, like a rules recap. Hobbyham, I think that's a good idea. 
<laughs> G Fuel G Fuel vodka makes my liver scream. Opinions on hot alcoholic drinks. I've had fancy like alcoholic coffee. That's okay, but it wasn't enough. You know, not, it wasn't enough alcohol to to matter, and I was kind of like, well, I should have just I should have just had a coffee. Um, I like hot cider. Mulled cider, spiced cider with some rum in it. I probably I might be able to get my own gamer seps flavor. <laughs> they do email me from time to time. Hot toddy is basically warm cider with whiskey. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. I would love a hot toddy. But I do I do mostly go for colder drinks. Like, as I said, my G Fuel with 10 shots of vodka. G Fuel. Would I swim over to a shipwreck for a hot toddy? Mm. No. <laughs> I don't think there would be many things that would make me want to swim over to a shipwreck. You know, that guy that guy in that commercial was crazy. Oh no, I should have said this was the um What's the blue the blue uh drink from Gourmania? I should have said it was one I don't know the drink, so I can't reference it. There was a blue drink we were serving when we were playing Gourmania. It wasn't Clorox. It was not antifreeze. Blue, yeah. Blue Curacao. That's what it was. Look at all these trolls. Look at all these fucking trolls. <laughs> yeah, Curacao. That's what I said. I have had a uh, hot sake. It's okay. Oh, Curacao is just Colombian for Clorox. Of course, of course. Okay. Okay, what the fuck now? Um, oh. Don't look at me squat. Hairs fucking everywhere. <laughs> Poop in that squad. What Pajama Sam stuff do I have? I have... Well, I have all the games. I have big box versions of Pajama Sam 2 and Pajama Sam's One Stop Fun Shop. And then I have the medium box of regular Pajama Sam. You guys are funny. <laughs> okay. Let me, uh, instead of squatting toward the camera, let me, uh, you know, hide back here so you can't see me. Where'd the lids go? Kind of crazy I knew exactly where all that was. Not really. This this shelf is all my big box games. And I, I remember getting those in big box, so that's, that's where they would be. I'm fairly organized. It shouldn't be that crazy. I'm having an organization uh, stream. So you would think that I'm fairly organized. Yes, the entire bookshelf is all of my Pajama Sam copies. I'm trying to collect all the Pajama Sam copies ever printed. Okay.
Okay, run HDMI and USB extenders, an XLR across room with cable cover. Now, one thing I have to consider is that my, this mic, my game show mic, has to be plugged in to a cloud lifter. So do I wanna run this cable to the other side of the room or do I wanna run this cable? They're both very long, honestly. How's the resin kid cuisine? A 45 minute video coming out about it? Like the process? Here's my resin kid cuisine. It, uh, oh, can't really see it, can you? Oh, here, let me move this like, ah! My music stopped. It's uh, now looking great. The sprinkles in particular are, everything is browned. Everything's turned like, it's like a sepia filter on the sprinkles. So, you know, it doesn't look, I'm not gonna say it looks delicious, <laughs> but it still is very cool. Uh, no, this, is a, this isn't Hungry Man, it's a Kid Cuisine immortalized so we can all remember when I uh, I started brutal foods everyone everyone here I think would say when I started brutal foods it was the most impactful moment in their lives so why not immortalize that moment with a kid cuisine in resin <laughs> where's the grating <laughs> it's gonna it's how nasty is it gonna get how nasty does, does resin food? Okay, this has to go though. Where did my jazz stop? It's very quiet in here. How long has it been in there? I don't know, when did you, uh, when did you send it over? I missed your response on what the, oh, you didn't say. Slow Jabroni, do you remember when you sent it over? Do you remember, uh, I guess I have your notes over here. I don't know if they're dated. Mm -hmm. Dude, someone bought me a toddy? Hobby Ham, thank you for the $5 for the squat, winky face. Thank you. There's more where that came from. <laughs> All right, my jazz. Not Silent Night. Please no Silent Night. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. You can believe it, I'm streaming just chatting. Of course I'm gonna be squatting. That's, that's, uh, you know, half of the playbook. Y'all are gonna turn into fucking simps like they're not already. Like they're not already. Okay, I really actually need to, uh... Why don't I have channel points? Honestly? A couple reasons. I don't want to clog up chat with people doing channel point things. I don't know if that's, I don't actually don't know if that ha that's how that works. So that could be an irrational fear. But also I don't think I want to encourage people to chat just to get points. I feel like that, does that not encourage low quality chatting just to like, earn points. 
I want people to uh, chat because they they want to chat. I, I I don't. I, that's that's one of the reasons I don't do a lot of Twitch stuff is because I don't want to rock how the chat is because. Uh, I've got a really good chat. You only get points for watching, not chatting. Okay, see, I didn't know. I've never, I've never read about channel points. If they're passive, maybe. I just don't know. I guess I don't know how I would. How how would I implement that? I just never really. Cause I'm not gonna put any, I'm not gonna put any channel points that's like, something funny happens. Like, I don't want anything fun to happen on my stream. <laughs> that's not what my streams are. My streams aren't about fun. So, if, if it sounds like it's gonna be too much fun, I probably shouldn't do it. Mod, mods can make... Okay, here, let's do this. Let's do this, let's just do this. What a hamburger. Oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. No. Okay. What do you think? Not saying I will or I won't, but would you like to see channel points somewhere? I don't know, points for what? I have no idea. I have never considered using them. But it'd be interesting to know how people feel. It could influence if I wanted to do it. If I did do some type of channel points, I would probably try and incorporate it with like Friday Night Mario Party or Bingo somehow. See, that's a lot of people that don't give a shit. <laughs> to me. Just let people hoard them and never use them. That's... That's doable. Make people save five million points to suggest my new my next brutal food TV dinner. That's that's true. That is an option. Are Twitch points something you can turn on? Like if could I have Twitch points only active during bingo and people retain their points? Or every time I turn it off, would it reset? Yes, yes it can be, I'm assuming that means yes it can be toggled on and off and retain. Okay. I'll consult, you know, I will keep it in the back of my mind. I have no, I have no plans to do that immediately, but I'll keep it back there. And if an idea pops up where I'm like, oh, that'd be cool, I'll consider it. Hannah Habanero, thank you for the four months. Thanks for all the great content. Hope your night is going well. My night is going awesome. Thank you very much, Hannah. Thanks, Lupin, I will. Appreciate the voting polls. I love, I love doing polls, honestly. I like this poll service I use. I like seeing them pop up in chat. Okay, I need XLR, I need... Do I have a spare USB extender? Look back here. Mm. Hmm. 
I gotcha. Thank, thank you guys for the uh, the feedback. Mmm. Mm. Mmm, delicious. Give me one moment. I don't know if I have another USB extender. How do I feel about YouTube streaming? I don't really have an opinion on. I don't. I don't uh, watch any YouTube streams. Um, I don't have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it is over there. I used to stream on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> uh, years ago. But it's been forever. Why did I have the lid of a tote in my hand earlier? For the for the boxes? This tote this thing over here? To move it from over there to over here. <laughs> is why it was in my hands. See, I use these things to grab objects and then manipulate them in 3D space. Muffin Rage, thank you for the five dollars. Hey Moose, me and my boyfriend Charlie have been watching your channels for years. Many long nights spent watching the Moose. Thanks for all the good vibes. Brutal Moose, Brutal Poos. Thank you so much Muffin Rage and Charlie. A Brutal Poos to us all. You never get any alerts for Twitch. You know, I noticed I've swapped to an Android phone and I'm getting Twitch alerts like crazy. I always had a problem getting them. And maybe it was just, I had them turned off on my iPhone settings. I checked a million times. I would have a hard time moving to YouTube. I know you can, um, multi-stream, but I don't like the idea of dividing chat that way either. But I feel pretty established here, and I don't know that I would uh, uh, make the change. And I just like Twitch. Okay. Now I gotta focus for a second. Let the man think. I gotta piss. <laughs> Okay, moving this over here. Uh, I think I might just do the one cable. If this cable's so long, I think... The question is if I, you know, it's, it's long enough. It's definitely long enough. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to be crawling around a little bit. Go piss. Don't hold it in. It's not good. I'm trying to build up uh, bladder strength. If I wait, I can. I will have to take less pee breaks. You guys are always ragging on me for pissing all the time. So I'm doing some uh, bladder enlarging exercises. It's, I know. I know it's uh, hard to believe, but I am an adult man, and I, I promise I will piss when I have to piss. I can, I can handle it. I can handle it. You're just gonna get kidney stones. <laughs> Don't trust you. <laughs> Please go piss so you can go piss. How long ago did I go piss? Has it been, it been a couple hours? I'm collecting my kidney stones, okay? I wanna build a tower with them. So I have to generate more kidney stones. You're gonna, you're gonna go buy stone from a, from a stone vendor when you naturally make them? When you stop pissing? Come on. Okay, Richie Rich, I'll be over here making my own stones. <laughs> I 
I couldn't think of I couldn't think of where you would buy stone. Lowe's? You gonna go buy stones at Lowe's? Yeah, see this this is uh honestly it's kind of an aggressively long XLR cable. Oops. Okay, fine, I'll go pee. Well, maybe I'll wait till I finish my G Fuel, because then I could get another one if I'm still, if I still want one. 35 feet, I actually don't know how long this is. It's extremely long though. We should vote for pee breaks. <laughs> okay. Now last time I had these cables just going diagonally across the room and I had to roll my chair over it every single time and it was driving me fucking bonkers. So I'm gonna try and... Or should I go back behind the... Let me see how long my, uh, what are the other cables I gotta do? My micro HDMI or whatever. Oh, this is, this can't be right. This is so short. This has to be the one I was using for the GoPro. How many times have I moved in total? Once when I was quite young. Uh, I mean, do you count things like uh, moving into a dorm? Because uh, I did have to take kind of like all my shit. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that counts. I'm gonna count it. So once when I was a child, Moved into dorms, out of dorms, into a house for the summer, back into dorms, back into a house, into a college apartment, moved to Washington, moved to Seattle, moved to greater Seattle, moved to, holy shit, moved to Texas. I'm gonna say 11. I'm gonna say 11. 11, 12. How big is my hand? Oh, Merry Christmas, everybody. There's so much fucking Christmas in this. How was dorm life? Dorm life was pretty good. I had a pretty chill college experience. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't a partier. I did not, I don't think I attended a single party. <laughs> I was just hanging out, you know, chilling, making YouTube videos. But I did like being on my own and doing my own thing. Okay, I have, I'm missing a, oh, it could be upstairs. Okay, I might actually go pee because I think I might need, I might need to get a cable and it could be upstairs. Oh, wait, wait, no, that's not it. I don't know if, can you guys even see what the fuck I'm digging? This is, this drawer is all cables and I had it, I had it organized once upon a time, and it has fallen out of organization as it's been used. Ugh. No.
Oh! Oh shit, okay. Here... Here is a USB extender. I'm looking for a an HDMI to an HDMI, I think it's a micro or something for camera. I have, totally forgot I have this one. Let me see, this could work. Mm, I still need, I need two. Because I need one for the winner's lounge and one for the bingo board. Don't trust USB extenders. What's the matter with, uh, what's the matter with USB extenders? Thank you, mortal Milo, for the bits and the nice message. Thank you so much. like I'm watering down the soup. That's fair. But what if you need to plug in a webcam in like, for example, the corner of the ceiling and the cables like that long? And we all want to put a webcam in the corner of the ceiling. We've all, we've all done it. <laughs> you never have that issue. We, I'm telling you, we've all done it. Where is... Okay, I think I'm gonna have the winner's lounge camera go in through the... the, El, the Elgato? I still need that... I still think I need that HDMI cable, unless I want to do a webcam. What if I, what if instead of running an HDMI cable over for the DSLR, because that's a pretty big, pretty big camera. Oh my God, fine, fine, fine. I'm going to go piss. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I'll be, I'll be right. I'll be right back. Refresh yourself. It's intermission time. The concession stand is open and ready to serve you.
Shenmue 1, Shenmue 2, Shenmue need to take a poo. What is, what are we talking, we're talking about TikTok? I leave, I'm not gonna piss ever again if when I leave you guys are, I'm gonna come back to you talking about TikTok. Come on. <laughs> we talked about piss the entire time you were gone. I don't wanna know, okay. You know, bod watchers are gonna see what you say, by the way. And if you say anything, they're gonna report to me. Okay, so I did look for that cable upstairs and I did not, I did not find it. So I feel like it has to be in here. I can, I can visualize it, like I, I see it, but I don't see it, you know? Oh, is this it? Oh my God, could it be any more tangled? What did I do? What is, what are we talking about? Yeah, you should get pizza, Rain Dog. If I'm under arrest, not currently. <laughs> not currently, no. Okay. So, this is going directly into the computer. And I need... Oh shit. I need... I need an HDMI. I got this, these HDMI... Uh, adapters that let you put two they're a double, double female adapter. So you can put two uh, regular HDMI cables together. The thing is, it's so tiny. Sure, a lesbian adapter, sure. Well, it wouldn't be lesbian because you're, you're, pu you're putting, <laughs> you're putting two male adapters into the one adapter. So it's really the opposite of, of, you know, it's more like a threesome adapter. Yeah, it's like an orgy adapter. Silly me, the HDMI orgy dongle is what I should have said. Everyone would have known what I was talking about. Where did I put? I know I have another one because I got a two pack. I got a two pack. Where the fuck did I put? Mm. Come on, Ian, you. Fucking stupid idiot. Where the fuck did you put it? This is what it's like when I'm working alone. You fucking moron. Where'd you put the adapter? Okay. Well, I've got... Okay, I've got my Elgato. I've got, got the Gato. 
But I don't see the adapter. Where the where did I put that shit? gonna be nice to Ian. I'm not nice to fucking losers. Always losing adapters. Loser. Hmm. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I just had it and I was thinking this would be super useful for when bingo comes along and I put it and I put it why didn't I put it here I clearly I'm clearly looking for it here maybe the leg knows that's true I could ask the leg Hmm. Okay, okay, let's... Why don't we um, uh, operate under the assumption that I don't have the adapter? Because I'm not going to buy another one. I need... XLR over there for my microphone. I need the mini HDMI cable over there for... I mean, at the very least, the winner's lounge. Maybe the bingo board could be another webcam. Hmm. I don't, I won't unlock expert rank if I don't find the adapter. Is this stream not gonna be narratively satisfying if I don't locate the adapter? I mean, what are the odds that I just left it next to the one I'm already using? Would I do that? Wait a minute. Did I do that? I found it, it's in use though. What am I, what am I using it for? No MJ. She thought about it. She thought about it and then I kind of uh, didn't give her a chance to think about it more because I realized I don't want her in here because I need to be doing this shit. This is, uh, this is the pink lemonade. I don't, I don't recommend drinking this much G Fuel as I have today, but I am. I have a shaker bottle, they're just, my G Fuel cups are dirty. That's why I'm using the, the stirrer. Looks br blood red. It looks kind of like watermelon pink to me. Okay. Well, good news, I found the adapter. Bad news, it's in use. And I don't know what it could be in use for? I have so many cables just running everywhere all over this room and I'm always changing them and I'm always saying, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? So this cable went nowhere. It's not plugged into anything. Uh, and it's going Okay.
Okay. This is what the fuck I was talking about. This little thing here. Two HDMI, regular HDMI cables. Instead of buying, I have so many fucking HDMI cables. Instead of getting a really long one, boom. Bam. Okay. Oh wait, no, I don't need this one. I need... Does the Elgato just plug in in one? Okay, that was my idea. I wasn't, I didn't do a good job of writing down what the fuck I had in mind for all these cables. Okay, we're going... Elgato... This is going to be for the winner's lounge camera. There's going to be so many fucking cameras involved. Five cameras involved with this thing. Okay. That's good. That works. It will plug into the red HDMI, which will then go... To the GoPro in the winner's lounge. Pretty sure I can acquire hubs. Which, uh, which specific situation are we talking? Like an HDMI switcher? Yeah, those are expensive. Those are expensive. <laughs> That's why I'm running cables all over the place. Those are expensive. I don't need to buy that. I'm a, I'm a little allergic to upgrading equipment when I need to. I'm always like, that's... That's too expensive. And then I'll drop money on some game or something I don't need. Hmm. Well, with this... Specifically with the switcher, it would need to be a professional one. Uh, it can't be like a cheapo just changer for like you would use for a TV. Because if it disengages the HDMI connection, specifically with this, honestly, with I think with the GoPro 2, it resets the camera. So I would have to go fuck with the camera every time I swapped it over here. Because it would put, uh, it would be like USB mode or HDMI mode or something every single time. Because I've tried to use a cheapo switcher for this situation and it did not work. I am still streaming. I've seen the built-in Elgato cards. Yeah, I have a I have have a uh built-in Elgato card. Do they have one with four different ports though? Camlink Pro, powerful video mixer. Oh, I yeah. Oh shit, I almost knocked my G Fuel. Well, I knocked something else. I don't know what the fuck that was. Ooh. I mean, I'd still be running. The thing is, it's still a four. It's still a four HDMR HDMR port. So I'd still be running cables like I'm running. You know, I, I have the ports. I have enough HDMI ports at the computer for what I want to do. They're just in various locations. And uh, I don't have to pay $250 <laughs> to, to do it. And it. That is very cool though. I would rather have a, I would rather have a professional 
like HDMI fader where I could put four different inputs into a box and then one output to a capture card and do all the switching in the box. Ideally, that's what I would do. Um, but again, I'm pretty sure those are, are fairly expensive. Would I, re would I recommend a transplant from New England to Washington? I don't know. It's a, that's a big question. I like it here. I'd never been when I moved, but you know, I don't know your specific situation and whatnots. You could always come up for a visit. The weather's nice. I think the weather's nice. I like the cloudy, whatever. ETA for Bingo XP. I was hoping, I'll say it just cause I'm thinking it. I was hoping next week. I think realistically the week after, it depends on, um, it depends on how much, how fast the bingo board itself comes together. Also just how long, I mean, it's like categorizing the shelf took two, three times longer than I thought it would. So um, we'll just see. I will announce it beforehand though. I won't just drop bingo XP. I'll, I'll, I'll put out um, an alert. I'm not sure Dickables, retro tech store, not sure. Yes, I don't miss the Texas 100 degree weather. No, I don't miss that. I think they do have good chowder in Seattle. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not a chowder man, but um, they do sell chowder at the, at the pier. Black Magic HDMI faders, let me look. Ooh, yeah, 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 something like this. If you remember when I was streaming from my retro setup with all the old cameras, it was something like this where it was a switcher that I was working. What are they? Yeah, I sure don't see a price on here. What's the, <laughs> what's the damage? Okay, 300, yeah. They're expensive. Nice voice, but I don't want vocals currently. Hypnospace Outlaw, I've never heard of that one. I'll have to look into it. Just saw the copy of dot .hack. Yeah, there we go. I'll pawn the dot .hack copy and I'll get an HDMI switcher. Great idea. And it comes from Mo himself, so that would be acceptable. Just to be clear, I do like Hypnospace Outlaw, just so we're all on the same page. Okay, so this is going HDMI extender, set, good. Next we have No, those are USB extenders. So I didn't even need, did I not even need this orgy adapter? I spent all that time doing all that shit. I didn't even need it. Oh, fucking classic. What the fuck? I really did not take good notes when I wrote these ideas down. I wrote down so many notes. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe it's too many notes. HDMI USB extenders. Why two USB extenders? Why? Winner's Lounge bingo board. Oh, oh, that's why. Because I want three cameras over here? That sounds crazy. Why would I, <laughs> why would I want to do that? I'm not doing that. I'm doing two cameras. I'm not putting three cameras over there. 
how to write notes for my notes. It's true. I think I wanted a camera in the winner's lounge, a camera focused on the bingo board, and then another camera that's like me standing there. But why don't I just leave this camera here and use... Yeah. Dumb. Dumb. Dumb, dumb brain. Okay. So where do I want? This tape's gotta move. These tapes gotta move. MJ Cam. But I didn't like powder G Fuel. I don't like the carbonated G Fuel. I don't, I don't like the G Fuel in the cans. Hope you guys are doing well, by the way. I know lots of you are lurking. Hope it's going well. Lots more people showing up for a nothing stream. Thanks for hanging out. Still playing RuneScape? Not so much right now. Right now I'm playing Dot Hack. And I'm playing Love and Pies. Those are the two games that I'm playing off stream. Ooh, Barbie article? People love watching these. Oh, can you hear me stir the G Fuel? I hadn't considered that. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I will consider doing this more often when my office is a mess. Okay. So this is going into my capture card. And then it's going over here. I do this so much, by the way. <laughs> so much of uh, my job is just fucking with cables. I'm just constantly plugging, unplugging, repositioning. Oh, my knees are holding up great. I'm telling you, these, these knee braces, excellent. I don't know, I probably detailed this long ago. But back when I was in the apartment with the wooden uh, wooden background, a short hair Ian, I had the wooden uh, wall background, my knee just died one day. I was walking back from PAX and it, it just died. <laughs> and now I've healed back, I can move around, but I'm a little more cautious and I wear knee braces if I'm going up and down. I probably don't even need them as much, but. I wasn't even, the thing it was, that was so long ago. I wasn't even that old. I was, I was act, I was walking around more than I ever did. But yeah, it has been going downhill since, it's true. See, I don't think I was 30, I don't, I don't even know that I was 30 yet. I, I was maybe freshly 30, maybe that was the issue. I never figured out what the, what it was. I went to the doctor eventually, but it was like a real sketch doctor. I never went back, <laughs> but she was like, she was like grabbing my leg and like twisting it around. I'm like, ow, ow. <laughs> So I didn't, uh, <laughs> I didn't go, I did not follow whatever she told me to do and I never went back. She was not a chiropractor. It was just, it was just a situation where I, uh, it was when I was the year in Texas. 
So it was a new place. I didn't know who to see. And I just went with uh, the nearby place and the, I sh you show up and immediately I'm like, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about this. That's also the place where they drew my blood and they just like kept drawing blood and drawing blood. And I'm like, I'm getting woozy over here. What the fuck are you doing with all this blood? That's a checkup. <laughs> Why do you need all these vials of blood? Yeah, selling it, maybe? No idea. So, never went back there. Never figured out what was wrong with my knee. I did, however, generate my blood back. So I'm back to 100% blood, which I think is just uh, fucking fantastic. Thank goodness. 100% blood, 4% body fat, 50% piss. Okay, XLR. XLR is going away. Trying to make sure I'm not flashing crack. Apparently I didn't need all the blood. I mean, I was fine. I just never gotten lightheaded and also sat so long in a blood drawing chair with blood coming out of my body. It was just not, <laughs> it's just not how it normally goes. Maybe my knee was just, I, they thought I had like a really bloody knee. You don't need all that blood. It's fucking up your knee. You got too much blood. We'll get rid of some of that for you. Okay. Be good here. Good, good. So is this gonna bother me when I'm in this chair though? Okay, think with your brain, dude. Think with your brain. the box, the XLR box actually needs to come up here because I'm gonna need like a hub where I can get to all this shit. And it shouldn't be in the middle of the floor. It should be over here-ish. Yeah. Oh. You can think with your toes. I needed to think with my head, though. Okay. So this is gonna be where my game show microphone plugs in. Oh my God, it's so fucking coiled. Should be good. So what's going on? Are we talking about doctors now? I don't have any other good doctor stories.
is Ian's episode of sitting up, setting up a room, kind of. Moved on to gravy. You know, I had, uh, last month, I think, I got KFC. I never ordered gravy from KFC, but uh, the, the KFC, I watched this KFC South Park episode, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some KFC with gravy. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Well, this is not gonna work. Oh, that means I can use the extender. It wasn't for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. Did I just eat the skin? No, I ate the whole, I ate the whole <laughs> food. All of the food. White gravy or brown gravy? I think I like brown gravy better, but I like, I like both. Yeah, KFC does cost a lot. All fast food does. I have not been getting as much, like near as much fast food. I've just, we just stock frozen stuff from Costco for the air fryer and we do that when we want a lazy unhealthy thing. Oh, Popeyes. Popeyes is so good. I love Popeyes. Okay. Okay. this away for now. I didn't have Popeyes until I think last year was the first time I really ate. I mean, I had Popeyes way long ago, once or twice. So I didn't really have a, an opinion, but dude, Popeyes is good. Shake Shack chicken, super good. There's a, the Alderwood mall that I did a video on. There's a Shake Shack opening there. Very excited. It's not exactly close. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go all the way over there just for Shake Shack. But next time I'm at the mall, it's an option. Shake Shack makes good lemonades. Have not had that. Have not had their lemonade. Oh, I need my box. This has got to be moved. It's driving me crazy. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so this is gonna end up being like my hub where I can plug in the mic I can plug in the HDMI cables. That way, when I'm not doing bingo, I can move the cameras, but easily set it back up when it's bingo time. That's the idea behind all of this hassle. And now I am placing the cable cover so I don't trip and break my skull open while hosting bingo. Cause that would be, I think that would just be a real bummer for most people watching, not everybody. Oh. 
Do I have any blood to bleed? Okay. Okay. So that, I think that's gonna work. XLR, my game show mic, HDMI for Winner's Lounge, and then HDMI for camera focused on the bingo board. That's gonna work just fine. What are you guys up to? Anything interesting? Snohomish? Snohomish is how you say it. I'm pretty sure. I, I should know how to say it. I'm pretty sure it's Snohomish. Balatro. I hear a lot about Balatro. Webkins. I hear even more about Webkins. People love the Webkins. All the rare Disney Blu-rays are selling out on Disney Movie Club. Oh no, Ben. Ooh, RuneScape, snack time. Club Penguin. Trying to, ga trying to game dev, but you keep getting distracted. Get to it, focus up. Dev those games. I didn't really web, I didn't Webkins, I didn't Club Penguin. People still use Blu-rays, definitely. I get Blu-rays for things that I know that I like that are like really high quality that I would want to see in HD. Most stuff I still get DVDs for though. Okay. Alrighty, well, I gotta say, getting to this point took a lot longer than I was expecting, so I'm happy to have it done. What is the object between Ian and the desk? This? This is my chair. Yeah, this is, this is MJ's handiwork. This used to be a nice, puffy headrest, but it has been indented from someone, I won't say who, who is messaging me? Why do I have new voicemails? I don't, that's, I don't, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, probably spam calls. Don't need to, I don't even need to listen to the voicemail because it's just probably a spam call. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's not listen to Ian's voicemail box. This cable's so tangled. Well, it's not tangled. It's it wants to loop a certain way that I don't want it to loop. What kind of Android phone did I get? I've had it for a while. It's a Note 10, I think. I have a, I have a Note, I have a big Note 10 and then I have a tiny mini iPhone and I, I swap between them. I never need a new phone again. Long doggo boy. Thank you for the two months. Cat marks are a staple of every good chair. It's true. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God. Did the phone stop clicking for now? <laughs> for now? <laughs> it 
See, this is way too much. I'm gonna have to have less slack here. It's too much, too much cable. Where did my, where did the Velcro go for this? Oh, I'll just steal one from somewhere else. Did it go? I know I just had one. Should have more in my cable drawer. Oh, good. So this was my box full of uh, cable management doodads. All have fallen out and are now loose somewhere in this lovely organized drawer. I don't have time. I don't have time for that shit. Not happening. It's with the adapter. I found the adapter, so it's not with the adapter. I, don't, I guess I don't. I don't think it's with the adapter. I thought. It, I thought I just had it. I'm feeling it. I'm officially. I think I'm feeling the three G fuels. They say no crash, but what if you have three of them? Am I gaslighting myself by losing shit? Sure. You ordered 400 Velcro cable ties. That sounds nice. Maybe I just need more G fuel. Maybe that's what this feeling is. Fourth one. I've got. I've still got a half here, but you can see I've had so much of it that the cup is powdery on the side. So it's not a good. Maybe I should just stick with the water. Pretty sure you can drink them forever with no downside. Probably, but I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go to water. I mean, there is water in G Fuel. To be fair. Yeah, G Fuel is a powdered energy drink. Um, it's, I don't think it's supposed to have any caffeine or anything like that. It's also supposed to have no crash. I, I think I'm probably just hungry. I don't get normal hungry. I get, why do I feel so weird? Oh, because I'm hungry. That's good. Get back in there, get back in there. This is a mess, but the doors to the cabinet close. So, you know, you won't be able to see that it's a mess. I should eat some dinner soon. You dilute it a ton so it actually hydrates. I know you can get some that are specifically for, like, like they don't have caffeine in them, they're just for hydration. I think today for dinner we're doing uh, charcuterie. Some crackers, some cheese, maybe a little bit of salami some pickles, pear maybe, will be nice. I will, I will not show you my salami, but thank you for, thank you for your interest. Your interest is noted. Why is that not dinner? What do you mean that's not dinner? How's that not dinner?
Okay. I need like a hook here or something for this XLR. Oh, I guess I can just throw it in a drawer. Out of sight, out of mind. Shouldn't be a problem for me later. Girl dinner? Neither of us are girls, so that can't be. It's various snacks? Is it though? Is it though? <laughs> Don't various snacks make up a meal? Yeah, it's a horse divorce. Horse divorce. That's appetizers. Could you not make a full meal out of appetizers? You know what? You guys just aren't invited to my uh, charcuterie dinner. You were gonna be. But I just think you've been too judgy about my dinner choices. It's just adult Lunchables. So how is, I mean, why is that not dinner? Lunchables was lunch, <laughs> right? Prosciutto. I think we may actually have some prosciutto. I'm not sure. Yeah, dinnerables. Yeah. Really wish my office had a closet. Oh, to have a closet again. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, yeah, get some pickles as a snack, hell yeah. I could build a closet? How would I do that? <laughs> How would I? <laughs> do I have to build a whole extra room, like, at, like add on? Just extend my house more. I'll get right on that. Get right on that. Don't wanna pay 300 bucks for an HDMI switcher that I would use every other day but you know let me drop a shit ton of money ex ex building a closet what the fuck is this shit what oh my God, i just got cables over here this is hdmi oh i'm gonna need this one upstairs Kick a wall for eight hours a day until it becomes a hole big enough to fit clothes in. That's a good idea. Well, I don't need it for clothes, really. I need it for, like, boxes of tapes. I need it for all my shit that I don't actively need. I need to be able to shove it in a, in a closet and not see it. Closet building stream? I'll let you know. I'll let you know about the closet building stream. Okay. Well, I can check off the first thing in my bingo prep list. Look at me go. Five hours, 15 minutes later, task one complete. MJ's room does have a closet. She's got it made. 
Do I collect and display stuff like that all around the house or only in my office? I do this, but all over my place. Yeah, it's everywhere. That's it. I'm surrounded by stuff that I like in every, every room of my house. And it all is like this, pretty much. What up, Team Datoni? Dat Datony? I could switch with her if I wanted to move everything up there. I didn't want to take, I considered MJ's room as an office, but it's, it's right across from the bedroom. And I don't like being close to the bedroom. I like being further out. I don't want to walk. I don't want to walk from the bedroom into the office and like never see anything else. The Tony, okay. Well, I'll disturb, I'll disturb the boyfriend. I don't care about that. I just wanna, I wanna move. I don't wanna be so close to the same. I'll disturb whoever I want. <laughs> Listen, if I'm up, he should be up too. <laughs> I'm pretty disturbing. Okay. Oh shit, I dropped my pen. I can't do any of that. Okay. I might take a little sit actually. It might be time to Take a little break. Ooh, I can actually fix the garlic thing while I do that. This is, when I got my mattress, right? I bought this fancy ass pillow. This is a nice ass pillow. It's too big. So now I'm sitting on it. I feel fancy. I like a, I like a thin, like pathetic pillow. No, it's not a my pillow. It's not from Amazon. It was from the, from the mattress store. But like, my, my chair is old and uncomfortable, so I kind of needed a cushion. What is this witchcraft? What I do? Sit on a pillow? It is witchcraft to have a fart pillow. I'm still going, Sam. I don't know for how much longer, honestly. I finally finished one thing, really two things. I didn't consider that I was gonna have to shelve and organize all this shit um, until I got all this shit, so. This did take a little longer than I thought it was going to, but it has been very productive so far. Oh, lower the desk? Yeah, I got a standing desk. Oof. Okay. Okay, for those that don't know, I'm recentering this lovely cross stitch quote that fell off my wall and got dislodged. It's it's a cross stitch, right? My, I have not had Ian's pizza. I know what you're talking about, but I have not had it. I don't trust anybody named Ian, you know? <laughs> it's been a long time wondering why desk, my chair was so short. Yeah, it was a standing desk. OK. 
Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay. Much better. I can't hang it right now because I don't have my command strips. I've got to go get, I guess I could go get them, but now that I'm sitting, I feel so like. Well, what'd you guys get done today? Or these five hours? There is more, there's, no, there's G Fuel in here. I'm done with the G Fuel. I think I've had enough. I think I've had enough G, I sat down and I'm feeling like maybe no more G Fuel. Nothing? See, that makes me feel good. I, I like, I'm glad it's, A, it's nice and relaxing. It's, it's good for you guys to take some time off and do nothing. And it also makes me me feel like I did a lot more because I did more than nothing. So it's it's a, a double good thing for me. Hiding behind my productivity, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I like the concept of sitting and, and doing nothing, just not for me. So it's nice that other people are doing it. And I can, it's like when I think about food and that's my eating, thinking about you know, relaxing and, and taking some time off is like my version of taking a vacation. You don't actually do it, you just, you know, think. Yeah, outsource my relaxing. You guys do the relaxing for me. I think it'd be great to release my album on audio cassette, uh, Corn Feg. Not this one, but the album that I put out at the end of last year not that, not that I, not that I'm not proud of the work. I just, I, I almost didn't put it out because I just know I can do better. I've, I've been composing lately, actually, when I get some spare time, and just, I, I've improved since then. So I'm not really looking to. Uh, it's done. It's out. <laughs> it's out. I, maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. I, I don't think I'm. That album is good enough to be sold in like a physical form. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. Like I said, I'm not trying to like put it down too much. There's some songs on there I really like, but as a, as a package, I really, I wanna do better. Yeah, I love doing music. No, it's not on Spotify. It's not good enough for Spotify. <laughs> uh, you can listen to it on, on uh, SoundCloud. Slash Brutal Moose. There's some, uh, I think my favorite tracks I put on the audio player on my website. What can I tell you about today's headband? It's kind of giving me a headache. You know, after a while, my, he my hair's been up. It's like a tie-dye thing. I don't know, it's like a, yeah, it's like a tie-dye deal. Yeah, my, I've had my hair braided before. I haven't actually used it as like a style, but to maybe sleep in sometimes. I could get a perm, it's true. I could if I really wanted to. Become a beauty YouTuber, pass. I mean, it'd be maybe fun to try a beauty video and see how I could, you know, twist it. What does it look like if I do this? Hey, over there. Ooh, it feels good to sit. Used to braid your hair, but you turned too quick and smacked yourself in the eye. <laughs> well, that's that's the excuse I'm gonna use for not braiding it. Well, I would braid it, but I don't wanna I don't wanna turn too fast. And him, oh, I have glasses. It doesn't track. Is the feed on my disco ball live or a recording? Like like I'm live. I'm live right now. 
I'm live right now. Oh, and the intermission fee. Um, it's an interesting question. I'm gonna not answer. It's an interesting question. Is that what you guys talk about when I go uh, panther piss? I feel like I should keep the debate alive. I didn't realize that was something that was being discussed. It could be. It could be pre-recorded and composited in. It's definitely possible. Listen, you got to see me do all this. Do I have to give away all the secrets? I didn't, re I didn't realize that was a secret, but uh, I'm going to treat it as one now. What the dongle's used for. No, it's, uh, I'll be nice. It's, it's pre-recorded. It's pre-recorded. I w it would be, it would be, it would be pretty crazy to just have a camera always pointing on the, on the disco ball. That would not be a good use of, of a camera. No, it's, uh, it's its own separate video file. So I have the intermission which is a video, and then the corner is a, is a tinier, separate video. Yeah, magic's dead. I'm glad people thought it was live. <laughs> Day is ruined. Oh yeah, yeah, you didn't see the calendar either. That's a good point. You would have figured it out because I'm gonna move the disco ball uh, and put bingo stuff there. So you you would have you would have figured the magic would not have lasted. What's on the menu? I can't say. I mentioned what I was having for dinner earlier, and I got grilled, roasted for it. So I, I'm skipping dinner now. I'm sorry if I ruined the magic though, but I, I do think he would have figured it out <laughs> within, I don't know, within the month, because I'm going to be moving stuff around. Yeah, I got bullied for salami. I'm having charcuterie. I'm having like cheese, salami, uh, crackers, uh, fruit. And people say it's not dinner. <laughs> it's not dinner. You got meat, you got fruit, pickles, cheese. Still not a meal. I think we're doing pear. I think we're doing pear and strawberry for the fruit. Yeah, it is, it is, it is all the food groups, but to some people it, it's not dinner apparently. And for some reason it's girl dinner. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're coming up with these terms. Uh, but sure. Sure. So the definition of girl dinner is charcuterie. Don't we think charcuterie is a nicer sounding world, word than girl dinner? <laughs> girl dinner. <laughs> girl dinner is eating a bunch of bites of things instead of cooking a meal. Okay, here's my argument uh, against that. Don't you eat a bunch of bites of things no matter what you're eating? <laughs> like, you, you don't eat the whole thing. You eat a bunch of bites. You're just describing eating something. <laughs> oh, you, you, you took a bunch of bites of your sandwich? No, no, I just, I just, all at once. It, it was, I didn't want to have, I didn't want to have girl dinner, so I just shoved the whole sandwich in my face. I think this is a dumb term. I think we should ditch girl dinner. I don't think, I don't think this is a good one. This one's not a keeper. Okay. 
as the uh, as the arbiter of internet slang, I rule thumbs down on girl dinner. <laughs> There we go. I could have a stream where I just where I just approve or disapprove. I'll I'll look at some some current terms. You guys can explain them to me, and I'll approve. and And you guys can continue using the terms. And when I rule that, you know, no, everyone has to stop. Everyone has to promise to stop. <laughs> Yeah, old man behavior, yeah. P I mean, people have been calling me old man Ian since, I mean, since I started, so. <laughs> Sorry I don't want to be like the cool kids and use terms like girl dinner. <laughs> Sorry. I could be so cool. <laughs> Why don't I watch more TikTok? <laughs> I could watch this thing and it could tell me all these terms that I should use because mm -hmm. I watched it on the TikTok and then I'll be cool because instead of saying things that I like to say I'll say the things that uh, the TikTok says and then I'll be cool I don't want to be an old man Plessin thank you for the 34 months <laughs> I have no idea what this means. Girl dinner looking pretty scarn to me. I don't know. Are we talking like Michael Scarn from The Office? No, oh, Scran. It's like Scranton from The Office? <laughs> like, this is, either way, I think it's an Office reference. The fuck is Scran? I have, I have at least heard girl dinner floating around. Scran, plural, scraps of foods. Is this slang or is this a word? I changed my mind. I actually don't want to rank and review slang because then I'd have to learn it. And this is, this is a miserable experience. All I hear is Michael Scarn. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Anytime anyone says Scran to me, I'm just going to say exactly what I said now. I'm going to say, oh, Michael Scarn from the, oh, Scran. Oh, so like Scran in Pennsylvania from the office. You big office fan. Oh my God. I think this is a sign that I'm winding down. I'm just sitting here and... I'm just sitting here and yelling at Cloud. Find new slang too tedious. Congratulations, you old. I feel like I've always been this way, though. I feel like I've always kind of not wanted to say too many I mean, it depends on how the word sounds. I hear someone meowing at the other side of the door. Oh, yeah, I was. I was assigned old at birth. Yep. I remember starting out every, I mean, that was what, 10 years ago? I was getting roasted for liking poker and golf and <laughs> anything else old people might enjoy. Okay, guys, I am gonna, I think I'm gonna wind down for the day. Yeah, I busted my knee at under 30, so I've just always been old. It's just, it's just how it is. Thank you. I'm going to have a great girl dinner. You know what I'm going to do for you guys in honor of you guys, not really for you. I'm going to use the term girl dinner and I'm going to use the term uh, scarn, scran. I'm going to use the term scarn and girl dinner 
while uh, we have dinner, and I'm gonna make uh, my boyfriend really pissed off, because <laughs> I'm gonna say it a lot, is it sc scran? Scran. And he's gonna be like, where, where are you learning these, these words? Just my chat. You know, they're sending me expensive shit. They're teaching me words, you know. How do you, is scran a noun? We're talking scran, Jimmy. Scram, I know what scram is. So is scram like, I'm gonna go eat some scram? Or that, that dinner's totally scram, man. It's a transitive verb. Is it even, I mean, I Googled it and it came up, so I, I think it's a real thing. It's Quran. <laughs> oh my God. So this is this is what happens when the stream just slowly unravels. I shouldn't be oper. We what, what did we learn today? I shouldn't be operating the the brutal moose broadcast system if I'm two and a half G fuels deep. There's a limit, and we found it. Scran meaning food is apparently Scottish. Well, I should know that then. Girl fuel. Yes, by G fuel, of course, I mean girl fuel. It's girl fuel when you take a bunch of sips. If you chug it all the way, it's just fuel. Because, you know, girls like to have little bites of things and little sips of things. Men just eat it whole, just all in one bite. One big gulp. Okay. We got we gotta we gotta move on because I shouldn't be talking about girl dinner this long. I'm gonna have to talk about it for the rest of the day. Okay. So I'm gonna leave so this doesn't get worse. <laughs> Yes, it's, we're going downhill. We're going downhill, and we don't want this to get worse. But I would like to thank everybody for hanging out and making what well, is really not that fun of a task. Very enjoyable. And I did get a lot done, not as much as I wanted, but I underestimate how long things will take. On Friday, I will be back with some uh, Friday Night Mario Party. Oh, thanks so much, uh, Crunchy Pie. Thank you, thank you. So we'll be back for Friday Night Mario Party on Friday. And that's the plan. I will do my best to get some type of Discord stream happening soon. I don't want to promise on when, but I would like to start doing that for like mystery tapes and stuff. I think that'd be a good time. Um, not me streaming, I was like streaming a, a thing, like a movie or something. But for now, I'm going to go have my girl, my super scran girl dinner. Very excited about it. What, I'm gonna watch some Office. Gonna watch The Office while I have my scran. Um, but thanks, thanks for watching everybody. I hope to see you on Monday. And thank you, thank you for, for hanging out. Good night. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you... Wait, did I say the wrong day again? What I, everybody said Friday, like I said the wrong... I said the wrong day. No Friday? You guys should know what I mean by now. <laughs>
I never know what to do. What today did I say? Did I say Monday? Oh my God. Well, I'll see you on Friday. I will also, in my defense, I will also see you on Monday. So I was not wrong, but I will see you on Friday. I'm pretty sure I said Friday. Because I wouldn't say Monday night Mario Party. I will see you on Friday and on Monday. Thank you. I need to thank you. I should be clear. Now, Scran, all of you, Scran, get out of here. Bye-bye. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.